Hey there YouTube, Phantasma Knight. I have no idea what I'm doing this episode, but we're gonna be playing more Disco Elysium. Uh, I was running around town a little bit, um, put in my tear at the, the, the free, I think that's what it was called. Got um, a dollar and ninety cents for it. Well, I know this is probably not USD, but I got some money for it. Now you might be wondering why my money's so low, because I went and bought the Pale Age Vodka for 30. Vodka, temporary stored in the pail, or so they say. This crystal clear liquid has been contained in a ship shaped bottle, commemorating the vanished airship Harnanker. Obliterating your liver has never felt quite so exquisite. Uh, it seems to have the same stat as everything else, but it's a fancy bottle, and generally, not always, but generally, if a game has something that's oddly expensive, especially an RPG style game, it probably has a use somewhere. A special use somewhere. Anyway, I saw this little green dot, so I figured I'll click on it. It's probably nothing, but that's why I'm starting the recording right here. It's nothing. Went to the village on the coast, officer. See you there. Joyce, says the note in the post. Okay. So. Of our tasks, we have no idea where to find the murder weapon. Or I have no idea. Maybe you knew. I mean, you maybe you do. Maybe you do know. This, I have not figured out where the island is, or if I can even get to it. I have not figured out where the boardwalk is. I thought maybe it was over here, like where Joyce's boat was. Offer uh, figurines. Well, I guess I have to meet her in first person. Take on Le Responsibilité. I don't know where the Sunday friend is. As we rebuild the village. Also on the coast. So we're going to go to the fisherman's village. I don't think there's anything else here. Actually, maybe let's see if we could talk to her and... See if she has something to say about the Pale Age. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? <laughs> uh, I, yeah, let's click this to see what she says. I don't believe it. I've never known those boys to have manners. Wait, you actually know of them? I thought they just wanted to get into some gang that you were a part of and you just didn't even know they existed. The amusement in her voice doesn't fully mask genuine tenderness. Ah, she's nice underneath. They seem to hold you in high esteem. They'll never be skulls, but but their hearts are in the right place. Skulls are cool. Can I be a skull? Fat chance. But you can still do your part to revitalize the neighborhood. If I really want to be a skull, I don't even know what a skull is. I don't have a very good impression of gangs, but I'm in. Harry Dubois just wants to get everywhere. She throws you a conspiratorial glance, then presses her finger to her lips and squints up at the sky, as though straining to hear something in the distance. Some high-pitched noise that my old man ears can't hear, no doubt. Have I'm, you I'm kidding. noticed the quiet? Every so often, you might hear a gunshot pierce the air somewhere in Jamra. But in Martinez, no gunshots. No sirens. How's that work? The people are languishing in boredom and complacency. This place is a sepulchre. Is that we how you paint pronounce it? it red. We bring the raucous. You bring the sirens. Catch you later, Cindy. Sepulchre. I've seen that word in Dead Cells for the first time and never figured out how to pronounce it. I think I've seen the word in a couple other places. Hello since. again, officers. Nope. <laughs> We can't teleport here. Run over a few steps so I can teleport to more. Maybe I should have talked to the pale driver. See if she wants to send this pale age the vodka. Oh, I can teleport now. Huzzah. Clearly, this game and I have very different ideas of what the coast means, but bleh. I'm going to check here again, because I thought there was... They said something about how this guy died at the boardwalk, right? What is this box and why can't I click on it? Oh wait, I just remembered! We we do know where to go. <laughs> we as an I just remembered where to go. I'm going to check this uh, can, this trash thing one more time. I doubt there's anything in here. Listen to it. An empty... Nope. Nope, same thing as before, okay. We're gonna go up the coast one more time, and then, I remember now, failed electrical. There was a little slot that was outlined in white, like that thing. 
and we couldn't do anything with it before, but now we have reason to believe that Ruby had been there. So maybe we can go inside now. They didn't make it sound like we could like tear off the mural or something like that. I don't know if we can. But I'm just going to hold tab and try to look for some sign of either Sunday friend or Ruby. Clearly we can't go any further than this. Or not clearly, because I tried that. If it was clear, I wouldn't have tried it, right? Wait. What was, oh, no. That was nothing, but... This rock doesn't... Okay, well, I guess the cursor just does that if you can't walk on there. Here I am looking for anything that might highlight when I hover over it, even though I'm holding down tab. And nothing should be showing up. See, like... If this isn't the coast, then where is? Is it this? Surely not. I don't think there's anything back here. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try that again. I know, it's probably just a waste of time. Yeah. Can I teleport? Let me teleport! I can see the church! The ch 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 church. Kind of amazing that I'm not hearing music blasting out of the church. I wonder if I actually get something from trying to convince her to go on a date with me. And it would probably be a lovely date. But something about the, the whole thing just make me, makes me scream. Come on, Harry, stop making a fool of yourself. Kind of like how Kim was pointing out that... Kim was saying something like, hey, You always ask me for money, and every time I ask you, you think this is related to the case, you say, Sure, Kim, I think it is. It's kind of amusing it, that he finally got fed up with it. I guess that was a hard check to make, and uh, and you get more chances the, the days go by. So it was the game was assuming that you're going to get in eventually at some point. Nothing to do here. Gotta keep going and get in. We did the Kim's shock. I've, I keep wondering about that, but we still can't go inside there. We checked these out right, right? I know I checked that out, even though I don't know what that is. Is that line? Why is it this? Are you kidding me? I think Kim won't let me sit on the bench, right? You can revisit the bench. Right. Okay, that's the one something we could do after Kim uh, Kim goes home for the night. We could sit at the bench. Man, needing permission to sit on benches. Can't go past this thing. Can't go over here either, even though it looks like I can. Sunday friend, where are you? Don't want to wait till Sunday to see you. Wait, here he is! How the fuck do I even get on there? Wait, there's something here. Is this the other, quote, bullet trace? The beams are splintered. The bridge didn't collapse on its own. Artillery broke it. Okay, yellow's nothing, but I for could have forgot that. I remember I looked at that before. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. But I guess we're looking at the mirror again? This was yellow. There was something we could click on here earlier, right? A row of ghostly shades facing the crumbling wall, with another seven shades standing ten meters from a cold sea wind. Okay, outline in yellow and yellow dot, apparently two different things. Anyway, Sunday friend, uh, I guess I got talking, talking with joining a committee. A door, a building, a hiding place, could the instigator be inside? There's no way the perp is in here, officer. Look how scarred the boards are. 
all attempts to pry them off have failed. Can I try to get in, though? Not this time. The opposition is insurmountable. But I like the spirit. Have some points. It's lonely and cold without points. I like points. What kind of points do I get? I have no idea, but I still have way too much sorry cop points. Hmm. Kim, do you think she's in there? The suspect? God, I hope not. I can't see a way in. Though many have tried. Noted. Nothing more to do here then. Finish that. Alright, Sunday friend. Would you like to join the committee? As you approach, the man turns and greets you with a polite wave. He appears completely at ease, like a common holiday maker. Ah, super. It's the officer. I was not expecting to run into you again, but things have a funny way of turning out, no? Yes, they do. What brings you down to the scenic Martinez coast? I need your help forming a committee. I'm trying to assign la responsabilité. My friend, if it's la responsabilité you're after, I have good news for you. There's no need to form such a committee <laughs> because it already exists. <laughs> oh my god, they already do like their committees. God, of course it does. These moral intern types. <laughs> oh, we're apparently one of them now because they're stuck with the quest. The Comité de Responsabilité de Revachol. It acts as a sort of clearinghouse for coalition activities. To put it simply, they are the ultimate arbiters of la responsabilité in this part of the world. Oh boy. Yes, this is just the sort of reasonable authority you're looking for. But uh, the fact that even though such a committee exists and we're still trying to figure out how we could assign responsibility to people to make it better. I guess assigning a responsibility is not, not enough. The people with the responsibility have to do something for about it, huh? I would offer to connect you with the committee myself, but alas, I am not actually in Martinez. Yes, that's right. What? Where is he then? Come on, Perception. Don't take that so literally. He's speaking figuratively. He means he's not in Martinez in his official capacity. So, where are you then? <laughs> I know what he's talking about, but I want to, to hear his answer to this. Why, officially, I am still in La Delta. Preparing for an upcoming conference on fuel oil derivatives. I'm only in Martinez in an unofficial capacity. Yes, I figured that much. I was just curious. That's why it would be extremely irregular, or potentially even inappropriate, for me to intercede with the committee concerning a district I'm not officially in. Fair enough. How am I supposed to contact them, then? Well, under ordinary circumstances, the committee contacts you. Mm-hmm. In other words, the committee only knows what it wants to know. That? That's... huh. The committee only knows what it wants to know, but does it know everything it wants to know? But if you have information of a vital interest, they might be willing to entertain an exception. In which case, I would advise you to contact them via Coalition Worship Archer. Huh. Why do I need to go to Archer to speak to the committee? You see, in addition to being an airborne artillery platform, Coalition Warship Archer is also the linchpin of the Coalition's surveillance and communications infrastructure in Revachon. Okay, ho uh, hold on for a sec. Airborne artillery platform. Does that mean that this warship is an airship? Or does that mean that it's... It's a platform holding on to... Artillery that can be temporarily airborne, or is artillery that just shoots through the air? Because uh, I don't imagine artillery goes to the ground, so I'm not quite sure why they need that specification. Hmm. My best guess is that it airborne artillery platform. My best guess is that it's an aircraft carrier that holds bomber craft, but I cannot figure out the low technology in this setting. Seems like it's a little primitive, but I can't tell how much because they apparently have automatic weapons and full body armor that makes you apparently not invulnerable. Like, I mean, in, in real life, I'm sure we could make more encasing armor, but the reason why body armor is mostly just a flak vest and helmet is because it's the most effective. 
like, well, overall most effective, you know, still keeps mobility and so on. Mobility is very important in today's wars. Lynchman, the coalition surveillance and communication. Okay. So, how does one go about contacting a coalition warship? Mm, this is oh, quite a night. problem. Okay, Very down. tricky. Of course, the archer has orders to fire on any unidentified aerostatics that might approach it. So, it might be safer to get in touch from the ground. Okay, so we're not going to take a motor carriage off a ramp and go flying at it. Got it. But in that case, you would require a radio transmitter capable of broadcasting on coalition frequencies. And that kind of technology naturally isn't typically available for non-coalition use. Yes, it is a bit of a conundrum. Hmm. Well, we might be able to get such a radio, right? Except, we're talking about non-standard tech. Um, the only thing I could think of would be Suna's thing. And it's a radio computer. I don't might not be the same as a radio transmitter, but I don't know. I suppose there might be some way... I mean, it has to transmit and receive. ...and your way onto those frequencies, but you'd have to be one of those techno-tinkerers to do it. We might know a techno-tinkerer. Do you know any of these? Unfortunately not, no. I don't have the pleasure. I am merely a representative of the coalition government. Not very well versed in technology. But you... Sounds like something that programmer we met in the church might be able to help with. My thoughts exactly. Let me just say that I have complete confidence in the RCM. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Okay. What are you doing here, though? Hmm. Well, that's très simple. I was visiting the fishing village just north of here. They have applied for a series of microloans to revitalize the old market. And, well, I wish to see the situation firsthand. Yeah, they need some help. And then, well... I had some extra time on my hands, so I decided to stroll down here. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yes. There's nothing like a stroll along the coast to lift one's spirits. Did you know there was a mass execution right over there? Really? Here? How can you be sure? That's sort of a gif I have. I can reconstruct things that happened in the past. High-end detective stuff. Ah, a very useful gift for a police detective, I'm sure. Fascinating how much history is contained right here, if only one knows where to look for it. You feel like there's something you could say here, if only you really knew what was going on. Huh. Does that mean we missed that check over there? Actually, there's something else I want to Hello. ask you about. I'm all ears, officer. Ah, thank you Always for your time. Always my pleasure to be of assistance to the RCA. Godspeed, and if we don't meet again, bon chance. <laughs> bon chance. Ch chance, luck, fortune. Bon is in bon appetit. Good appetite. So, good luck, basically. Did we miss something here? I thought we caught everything. Ah, uh, might as well waste uh, another couple of minutes, eh? A row of ghostly shades facing a crumbling wall. With another seven shades, a host small. of men, they stand. Ordinary people. Leeches, maybe you should change it. They were praying, screaming. <laughs> Seven men in combat uniforms and dark coats. The commandant, the one who gives the order. I don't know. Perhaps the one. Remember what Trent Heidel. Another likely scenario. Or maybe. Yeah. To be honest, if a cold. Hmm. I want to say there was a check I failed early on. Did I succeed afterwards? Can't rightly say. Okay, so, um, we managed to find the dude along the coast, meaning that we might be able to find where the shot came Well, I mean, we already checked lands end, and I can't figure out what they mean by the boardwalk. This is probably not the boardwalk. Probably not. I mean, there are boards and we are walking here, but, um... I want to say it's likely where the other guy died, but it's like... Well, we already checked there. Okay, we can't... we can't get any further in this direction. Let's go t talk to the mural, probably tear it down. History man will probably be a bit aghast. Alright. Anything else we can do? 
Wait, hang on. I thought I saw something. It might be my eyes. There is something. I thought it was my eyes playing tricks on me. It's probably nothing important. The yellow dots weren't anything when we were back there, but... Slid in the concrete here. A sewer? I'm still wondering about these pay payphones that we can use, but haven't. You know what? Actually, let's use it. We've stuck by a little money, and we don't actually need the twine rail to stay eh? at the world anymore. The machine is operable. That random number. Sure, why not? Calling. Still calling. This feels wrong. Should you be doing this? I End of for time. It. Someone picks up. Voice is female and sounds about 100 years old. So you're not Pierre. That seems like a better idea. You don't know why. What, what do you mean you don't know why? I feel like empathy should have a decent idea here. No, this this is not Pierre. Do you have any news about Pierre? Who is Pierre? He's my sister's grandson. He used to visit me as a lad. Fine young man. But who are you then? A salesman of some sort? Modern goods are rubbish, and I can't afford them anyhow. It's a shame what you did to our country. The woman moans in the phone lines how in unison were her. No, I'm a police officer. To hell with the police. To hell with you. Her voice is drowned in white noise. Sounds like waves washing a beach, growing in volume until the call suddenly disconnects. You get a sinking feeling. It makes you look if Lieutenant Kitsuragi overheard you. To your relief, he did not. Wait, 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 wait what, what do you mean? The, like, what, what am I relieved about? I, I, all I said was, I, I, I'm a police officer. That's it. It's probably an achievement for like clicking on all the payphones and dialing random number. Wait, hang on, there was something there. The light vanishes inside the concrete slit. The structure goes deep under the earth. Hoi! There's no echo and no answer. What's in there? Maybe it's just a storm drain for the sewer. Kim, any idea what's down there? No idea. Could be connected to one of the buildings around here. Think we might find Ruby? We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. Revachol sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. Oh boy. In conclusion, she could be under any building. But not in there. I hope not. <laughs> Fair enough. Very curious about the other bullet holes, but you know, let's make some progress on the main plot and then we can go into the church and start talking about packing. Packing. Packing something together for the responsibility. But not this time. You see, a slogan used to step closer. Above the mural, a collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. Feld Electrical. How ironic. All these dark rooms. Feld Electrical. You only know them as a small company that makes ink cartridges. Looks like they used to be big. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Oh, I failed a bunch of times. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. Highly unlikely. We've spent a lot of time in that church. Why single out this one building? Shivers. You know what? Okay, let's see. Reconstructed execution, slash the nightclub, discover the anomaly, death notification, found the jacket. Okay, so the so the reason why we're singling out this building is because we already investigated a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not sure there's much more we can do, but, but, just in case, we're gonna talk to Sauna. And actually, hang on, no, hang on, I'm gonna put in my, all my shivers gear. And I did not make that spreadsheet like I said I was going to. Right, shivers are something I don't have a lot of, huh? Ooh, plus one shivers. Hmm. Shh. 
shiver goes goes off a of psyche, so it'll be that pinkish color. Hang on. Heck yeah. Actually, we're not going to go to Sauna because the only thing we have is about Le Responsibilité. We can't do anything with that godly logic. And, hmm. I'm a little curious about something, but I'll, I'll try it afterwards. And that will be our second instance of safe scumming this run. I think it's our second instance. I mean, the first might have been a whole series of safe scumming. Oh, actually, hang on. Let me think. No, there was one instance of safe scumming. It was the karaoke thing. And I didn't actually press the check. I didn't actually see what it looked like when it failed. I was just like, hmm. Because I, I picked a choice that should make things better, but his reasoning was really, really bad. It's like, you're too close to the mic. It's like, I found I'm too close to the mic by testing it. That's ridiculous. Um, and I guess I did die a couple times with the whole Titus thing. My my character is not good with his authority. Anyway, let's uh, check this. The once bright mural towers above you. Seventy-two. Saying, Ooh, nice. Fell electrical. R and D. Tomorrow is just. Even though you're sure you succeeded, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. So, this is the ability to listen to the city, but there's nothing here. I Does that mean it's not possible to detect nothingness? Or does that mean that this spot is oddly quiet compared to the rest of the city? Trying to talk to the wind, the city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now, you're just standing there, in the dusk hour. With your hands fallen to your side, is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? She could be anywhere. How do we find her? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We've already talked to the cryptozoologists. Working with them might give us a good excuse to run around, give us some structure. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. Didn't we do that though? What if that fails? What if we don't find her? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Oh, Bankers, we know. Tom Drainage, this place. I'm sure it won't come to that. He looks behind him, like the dark red box crumbling across the chasm. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. It, all it got me was a low XP. An adventure nice. Waits. An adventure on the windswept urban coast. Listen to the wind again, but why? Guess we'll go talk to the cryptozoologist. Still can't find his thing. Still leaving his wife out there. All worried by herself. I almost feel like someone should just like push her over here. Kid running back and forth, might as well. What can I do for you, officer? Looking for a suspect. Have you seen a woman with red hair who seemed to be on the run? I'm afraid not, officer. I've been busy digging around in the reeds for days, looking for signs of insect activity. I'm less interested in mammalian concerns, to be perfectly honest. Oi. The lieutenant takes a short note in his notebook, then gestures for you to proceed. Did you know Gary was hiding the armor? Hell no. I had no idea. And I'm still cross with him, to be honest. It's not like him. He's got his quirks, but dishonesty, disloyalty, are not one of them. Thanks. The man matters right in the distance. He doesn't dare say more. He's still glad his friend stood up for him. Of course he is. Lena seems pretty eager for you to return. And I'm eager to return to her, I assure you. But I can't leave before we finish with these traps. 
My wife understands that just as well as anyone. Look south to where Lena would be. Come on, Morel. We've been soaking out here for days. It's time to go back. <laughs> you have been out here for days, and it looks like it's snowing. I thought it was just raining. It's freaking snowing. And leave the traps? Absolutely not. I won't let Lena down. Come on. She wants us back. I'm soaked up to my nuts over here. We'll both catch reed crabs if we don't dry out soon. Yeah, that sounds terrifying. Won't let Lena down? Sounds like the cryptozoologist's wife shares a special connection to the phasmid somehow. I didn't know the phasmid was so important, Lena. Of course it's important to her. She's seen it. A verified sighting, on record. One of only 40th century, and it's hers. She's seen it? Really? She sighted the phasmid? Yes. That's how we first came to know one another, in fact. But that's her story to tell, not mine. <laughs> All right, then I guess we better check out the whirling again at some point. Suffice to say, it's long been our dream to find proof of the Insulindian phasmid together. I can't abandon course now. Morel, you suddenly sound like you're dying. Another cough into his fist this time. Maybe you could go back to the whirling, warm up, come back to check the traps later? No, no, no. The traps need to be monitored on a regular schedule. What would we do if the phasmid were to starve while we were sipping tea at the hostel? I mean, surely we wouldn't starve in just a few hours, right? Right? Come on, you need to see your wife. You need to warm up. It's getting cold out here. He's dead set on this. Fair enough. I could go for some trap setting. <laughs> Interfacing. Tell me more about these traps. Well, they Cage may not look barring. impressive, but Lena designed them quite cleverly. So I'm sure they'll do the trick. She designed them? Yes. He says with some pride. How do they work? Simple. Attracted by the locusts, the phasmid crawls down the funnel and, having eaten its fill, can't get back out. So they're not going to starve because they're going to be... Uh... Unless they're too dumb to figure out how to get out of the funnel. Uh, it's implied that because it's too fat from being filled up, it can't get out. At least, that's the intention. The net isn't a perfect solution, but we didn't want to use anything that might damage the specimen's delicate exoskeleton. Okay, it sounds like you're using locusts as bait. Locusts. Nearly all known phasmids are herbivores, of course. But we've hypothesized that the Insulindian phasmid might occasionally prey on other insects. Man, this sounds like a real shot in the dark. Inside the traps, a number of locusts crawl and tumble over one another in a tiny, chittering swarm. A meat-eating stick insect? Does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? This seems unlikely. Can never stick insect? Seems unlikely. Thank you for your opinion. We have also included plant material in the traps to satiate your skepticism. Mm. What if it feels threatened by the locusts, or else just doesn't like competition for food, even though they're apparently not much of a threat? What will you do if these don't work? They'll work, I assure you. The predatory hypothesis, using locusts as bait, accounts for the failure of previous efforts by other teams which use plants. We have given this some thought. Mm -mm. The traps do seem to be deftly and thoughtfully constructed. It's clear the cryptozoologist's wife knows what she's doing. Neat. Yes. What? What if we check the traps for you? I didn't expect you to take such an interest in our work here, officer. <laughs> Chaos is my method. I am a scion. <laughs> Silly. We're looking for someone hiding on this very coast, looking for another, may, uh, looking for nothing may lead us to her. Why not? At least it will give us the excuse to look into a lot of reeds. Uh-huh. That it will. That it absolutely will. Okay. I hope Wh you brought your good boots. Uh, I found these shoes somewhere, I can't remember where. Where are these traps? There are four in total. 
One is to the south, on this little peninsula. By the boathouses there. It's very near. The boathouses. Another we set in Land's End, to the northeast. It's behind a small sand dune there, on your way to the old radio tower, after the church. All right. The third is set near the canal, where you crossed, by a concrete slab. A big thicket of reeds going up the slope, and among them... Hmm. You should check at least one of those before returning to this one, since I just said it. This one's more of a technicality, but still, better safe and stupid than sorry. Be careful where you tread in the reeds. Some less conscientious researchers may have left their trips out there, armed, hidden. Oh boy. What do I do with those feathers made in one of them? Bring it to me at once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. Uh huh. He's not comfortable with the possibility that you'll claim the find. But he's lying about this even to himself. <laughs> what have I encountered the Phasma in the wild? That's highly unlikely, officer. But in the event you do, I'll spray you with a pheromone mixture I developed. How do you develop a pheromone mixture for a creature you've never encountered before? It's made of musk and research chemicals. The pheromone should attract the insect to you. Or at least prevent it from bolting at the side of you. It's quite potent. Will last you about a week. Lay it on me. Thick. Present my armpit. What? <laughs> Douse you an odd smelling spray. It double helping as you present your other armpit. And it gives you a satisfied nod. This is the smell of dying reeds. Of longing crumbling into the water. I hope you're not buying this. It dispenses it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy water. <laughs> It is precious. A single dose cost me 50 real to develop. Not that I expect you to understand self-financing one's own research. He looks at the lieutenant with disdain and then puts the spray back in his pocket. I'm ready, let's get to it! Right, which means you two can pack up and go back to the whirling. Whatever he thinks about this detour, it's clear that these men are exhausted and in need of assistance. Finally! Someone's talking sense. Actually, we're talking nonsense, but we're taking on your share of the nonsense so you can go back. Or, more specifically, so your buddy can go back to his wife who misses him very much. Thank you for your help. Gary and I will start breaking down camp. If you have any more questions, now's the time to ask. We'll be gone once you get to it. I'm half expecting a bear trap to just snap as loudly as the ones in Hunt. If it's more cryptid-related business you want to discuss, You'll have time for that later, too. But what if the information is vital on the hunt? Okay, well, let's just click through this real quick. How do you become a cryptozoologist? I just always liked animals. You and puzzles. Child dream? It's not child's play. Just because I have to trape through the mud every so often. Hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with living out your childhood dream. Being able to make a job out, that's amazing. Don't call these... Don't say real animals. Have you ever discovered a cryptid? No. Very few cryptids are ever discovered. Cryptid. How many cryptids of the are list there? of cryptids kept by the Cryptozoological 4, Society of Chemni, which about is 4,082 2, items long. About 2,000 have been confirmed as... Two are categorized oh, as confirmed discoveries. The rest are in differing stages of Only two have proven to be real. The Chateau Quan Forest Pygmy, who turned out to be an extinct species of primate and a cave salamander from Hugo Grad, who is, honestly, quite unremarkable. <laughs> this is the guy who only somewhere. likes bugs. We cryptozoologists are brutally honest with ourselves, more so even than the public. With cryptids, most then cryptids this one will be the third. Or, indeed. It's forceful if gaze. our expedition is successful, every paper in the world will report on it, from Revachol to Dushan too. It will be a zoological miracle. The hair on your arms stand up. Electricity. Sounds like reeds hissing. He has clearly done his math on this. There is no surprising him or swaying his opinion. Makes sense. Yes? Let's talk about specific cryptids. Why? Right. What cryptids precise? We would have to discuss. He wants to say, but decides against it. Since you've offered to help. 
Tell me about core cryptid and cryptid. No offense, officer, but I'm not much of a pedagogue. I don't know what I would have done if Lena hadn't persuaded me to go back to field research. You should ask her if you want interesting stories. Very well. Me? Then. I'm not a people person. Unless you haven't noticed. Oh, I've noticed. And I don't concern. make a good lecturer. My strength lies in field work and persistence. <laughs> and you're proving yourself in that category. He brushes an errant strand of hair from his eye. This is a gruff man who's been ridiculed too many times to feel comfortable talking about what's dearest to his heart. It's in his shoulders. His face is everything. Persistence is... A useful trait to have sometimes. Enough tales then. Let's change the subject. As in farewell. I only. I'll get going. Okay. So we haven't gained like additional access to this area out here. Yeah, there's something there, but we can't access it. And we just stepped on the trap. Okay, so we go south, we go north to Land's End, we go to the canal, as in like that place with the bridge, right? Where we had to wait for the sign to be removed. Wait, wait, wait. You should come back here when it snows. A strange feeling passes quickly. It was snowing! It was! God dang it! You know, I finally figured out what these circles are. They're related. They're passive checks. It's because I got my shivers up. Shivers is physical. Jeez. Real high there. Physics may have been tanked though. Very curious about that. She's probably in there, huh? An old door. Maybe it wasn't used to take the shot, but she's probably in there. Okay, by the radio tower, right? Oi. There we go. Behind the dude, of course. There's a trap in the reeds at your feet. Looks like the same one you saw Morel set before. Same mesh, same wiring. Look around. The reeds sway in the coastal breeze. They seem to be waiting for something. The wind picks up air, near the Cape's end, surrounding the narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. Sure Locusts trap. are crawling around in the trap, confused but uneaten. You see no carnivorous reed phasmid gorging on them. <laughs> Big surprise. Anyway, one down, three to go. I need to grin. I'm not expecting to find anything. I'm just helping some citizens and getting some fresh air. I meant no offense. Just... He doesn't know how to finish the sentence. He looks at you, putting the trap back on the ground. He means that we're wasting our time all the time. That's what he means. Why do I keep going out to the end? Like, I'm going to find something new. I can't teleport. Nope, cannot teleport. Run, run, all the way back. There's gotta be a thought in here somewhere that gives me a faster run. Oh, wait, I just... Okay, we still have a few hours for that. Ooh, right, remember not to take any red checks, me. Not for a while. We're at the church, so that means we could... No, not yet. Can't teleport yet. We're gonna go here. They should be by the... the. Well, they said boathouses, but... These don't quite look like boats. Maybe they just meant houses by the boats? Surely it's not this thing. I'm going to go in here for the umpteenth time and find nothing once again. Because why not, right? As expected, there is nothing here. Then let us proceed. The 
This is a belt. There are many like it. This one is not mine. And here's a trap. This... This by the, the water? I mean, the, the canal lock? I think this is a it. A familiar apparatus lies among the reeds. Another one of Morel's traps. Weighed down by stones to keep it in place. Look around. The reeds bend forlornly toward the water. Some tufts have been crushed. The broken stalks sickly pale against the darkness. In the east, the city center hums to you. The constant, distant song. Louder on this part of the coast. Nearer somehow. And there's that cold again. Always the cold. Hmm. Shivers is quite loud when I have all these things equipped. This trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another empty trap. Takes a note more out of habit than duty. <laughs> this did not seem at all too much at this point. I'm just gonna read out loud. Again, I want to make it absolutely clear that I don't believe the phasma exists. Okay? How are you enjoying the cardio, Lieutenant? I'm quite enjoying it myself. Always up for a good jug. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, let's check, make sure which trap that is. Uh, okay, the trap near the boat, the boat houses near west of the Feld building. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I didn't know what to do, so I went to talk to the building. And then told me that there's nothing, and then said to go back and talk to it again if I don't find anything. Man, I have two bullets, but no gun. I guess I could get my gun from Everard, but I kind of don't want to. Okay, we will keep going. West, so somewhere out here, right? Right. What boat houses are they? Nope, west of this building. Is a big old structure, but nothing here. This is where we were before, right? Yeah. Are these what they're talking? Oh, here, here we go. This trap's Ruby. not too hard to spot. Once you know what to look for, keeping it hidden has not been a priority for the cryptozoologist. Look around. Behind you, the ruins of a residential building rise over the reeds, shielding them from the wind. The reeds rustle confidently. I wonder if we should have pumped up our perception, actually. When this district was booming, the reeds were kept at bay. Nothing obscured the freshly painted facades. Nowhere for drunks and adventurous teenagers to hide. Now only the wind blows. And the wind, it smells like rain. <laughs> Sorry, random quote. Into the spider verse. Reach for the trap. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we are done. His face is red from the cold sea air. He just catch his breath. One more time, I must stress that I did not expect a cryptozoological monstrosity to be in this trap. You getting tired? No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain, it's just... He <laughs> short at the sentence there. You know, we didn't actually talk to uh, the dude at the Feld building about Ruby. I don't think we had an option to call with Sunday friend. Is there a way to pump up my... I, I mean, I could probably pump up my perception with one of the glasses. Not that one, apparently. Let's see, what colored perception? Yellow, okay. I'm gonna change back to proper clothes later. Wait, we already checked all that. 
Gila would be Motorix, huh? That's right, I think Procession was the third from the bottom. Nope, second from the bottom. Shame! Let's go. This is the last of the traps. The one Morel just set. Checking it over. He said is just a technicality. Which means if it would be anywhere, it would be here. But we probably already failed a perception check or something. Or, hmm. I wonder if there are hidden checks, because there sometimes it tells when we fail check. The reeds hiss and shake in the darkness. That has settled over the abandoned camp. It's good the cryptozoologists left. This isn't a very cozy place to stay night after night. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange, somehow. Why am I feeling strange? Why do you keep pointing out the cold? The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Look closer. No locust. No phasmid either. But still. Look closer still. It might be a stick. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. Is it blended in? The netting is a little untidy. Messier than the others. Like someone or something picked the trap up and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. Hmm. Actually, I do get the feeling that someone or something might mess with the trap. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. But probably was, wasn't the phasmid, but still, Moreau needs to know. We did, sort of, promise to tell them, didn't we? He seems to regret the fact, even though I gave him no say in the matter. A cold gust of air dries your sweaty face. And you look to the dark shadow, the felled building in the distance, drawing you to it. What a strange sensation. Once this is done, should you try to ask again? Oh, the building is telling me to go talk to it. Hmm, okay. The reeds hiss. It's good the cryptos. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of. Which means we have to come here late at night, don't we? Oi, the dude's gone. Is it because it's getting late? Yeah, he seemed like a pretty cool dude. He wouldn't let make his son sit out here in the cold for a heck of a long time, right? The once bright mural towers above you, saying, Whoa, fell day. electrical, R and suddenly there's a sigh, carried on the molecules around you, moving. Yes, that's how air works. High that's how sound works, I mean. Like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you, in her breath, flowing through it. Okay, is it not literal sound, or...? But yes, sound needs to travel through something, as in molecules, because, you know, matter. In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the boardwalk, its winding tunnels, a whisper away. I looked for a place into this, uh, I went into this place, but I didn't see anything? What is happening? She's down there. Oh! Holy crap! I think she's down there, below this building. Okay, why? Huh. We've looked everywhere else. Right. How do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. Finally, my time to shine. There's a ladder next to the sign. Perhaps we can climb it, enter through the roof. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old, and I plan to live to see 70. <laughs> I am apparently around your age, but uh, we won't know for sure until I... Uh... What's the word? Backdate myself? Okay, well, let's go talk to Morel, and then we can come back here. Maybe we should come back here, but, uh... Maybe we should have this armor on, just in case she intends to shoot me. 
Okay, well, let's put on our usual clothes first. Did I really not have anything that improved uh, perception? That's kind of bizarre. Ah, maybe there was something in one of those boxes that, um... I forgot what his, that dude's name was. The dude who's uh, trying to be a merchant. Okay, okay, and... Necktie. Inland Empire. Horrific necktie. Right, we have to get out of here first before we can teleport. If this was Hunt, which it isn't, then I, when I get, uh, then when I climb up the ladder, I would, well, probably get shot. But <laughs> if I survived climbing up there, I'd probably try to get down and find a way to open a door or something like a bar door to let my buddy in. But odds are, I'd probably just get shot. It's already twenty hundred, which is eight o'clock. 8 p.m. as it were and now we have someone to talk to we had someone to talk to earlier but now there's gonna be new dialogue it's great to see you again officer my wife can't wait to thank you go on talk to her okay oh sweetie I don't even know how to thank you for finding my husband and helping him out I hope we haven't been too much trouble for you. I'm basically also a cryptozoologist now, too. I knew it. <laughs> you hear Kim say it quietly to himself. I'm not surprised. It's already getting out of hand. <laughs> that, that was perhaps the wrong choice. Well, in that case, sweetie, let me give you a small token of my gratitude. She hands you it's a... a tie, mask in origin. The pin is an antique, quite special to the cryptozoological community. She hands you a ribbon tie held together by a silver bird skull. A ribbon tie, uh, like a bow tie? Please tell me it's not a bow tie. I'm not too fond of that. Of bow ties, especially with the kind of outfits my character wears. But hey, I got clothes. Your reward is clothes. Clothes are the end game. Or fashion the little end silvery game. knob holding the tie in any together game. feels warm in your hand. It's in the shape of an avian skull with eight eyes. What? I guess you're going for cryptids. Like, what other. Be, what other creature better symbolizes that than some. presumably non existent creature? A bird skull with eight eyes? Jeez. <coughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed there, and I hopefully muted it in you time. You could ask her about this when you get the time. It's probably a cryptid, but the phasmid. Of course, is more important. You never told me you've seen the Phasmid. Oh, you don't want to hear about some old woman's ramblings. Ramblings? Nonsense. Your description of the Phasmid is the most precise I've ever heard. But darling, I didn't even get the size of it right. Measuring things is important. How did she get the size? And how do you know it's wrong? You were a child, my dear. Really, it's extraordinary what you were able to describe. Now go on, tell our friend about it. He's proven his interest in the field. Reflexively, the lieutenant read his, his familiar notebook. Huh. Well, it was summer. I was building a racing track out of sand on the beach near a tall stand of reeds. Quite a tall one. Many times my height, I remember. When all of a sudden... Wait, where was this and how old were you? Ah. I'm getting ahead of myself. I was five and a half in Betancourt in the suburbs. My grandmother had a summer home there. A little interesting that your husband decided to search for this thing when it's cold out. She'd just started forming memories. Real memories. Not the billowy haze of infanthood. Hmm. Betancourt got bombed in the war. It used to be quite near, circa 20 kilometers from here. All right, what happened? The strangest moment of my life. I looked up and one of the reeds moved. Not like a plant, but like a living thing. It stood up and looked at me. 
Its body unfolded like some antique toy. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't know this can happen, so I reached my arm and touched the thing. It felt just like a stalk of reed, but it moved, swaying, towering above me. After a while, 20 seconds, a minute maybe, it left, went into the reeds. Did you follow it? I tried, but I was only a child. There was mud and high water. I couldn't see it anymore. I was just standing there, knee-deep in mud, looking around me. Then what? I ran back home to my grandmother and asked her if reeds could walk, and told her they were looking at me. <laughs> of course, she just laughed at me, but I knew what I'd seen. Yeah, uh, five years old. I could definitely believe five year olds were just seeing things and making things up. For years, it was a story I told at parties when I wanted to impress boys, that sort of thing. Of course, most people just took it as a strange, amusing anecdote. So did I, honestly. But then I met Morel. We were on a date. Can you imagine? She tells me a story, and it's the most detailed report of the Insulindian phasmid I've ever heard. The sounds. She told me it hissed. It did, yes. Like reeds in a gust of wind. Oi, didn't we didn't we hear that when we were talking to Morel? The way it moved, the colour. How some of its limbs were white, like marble. It matched perfectly with what I know from other accounts. It was amazing. If it weren't for Lena, I might have given up hope years ago. It's no exaggeration to say that she restored my faith in my profession. He looks at her with admiration, forgetting a white smile on his face. Does that mean he forgot to keep it off his face, or he looked at her with admiration, but somehow did, wasn't smiling? How do you identify admiration? I should don't know how to identify emotion. I could write stuff like this, but it uh, doesn't mean I know what admiration actually looks like. Oh, well, I mean, you've seen certain images online. Sometimes you see an expression that and people will be like, get someone who looks at you like this guy looks at her or whatever, you know? But, hmm. His limbs are white. Not all of them. There is some white coloration reported, along with beige, where the camouflage ends. Beige, huh? How big was it? It's hard to say how big things are when you're quite small yourself to me it seemed to be taller than i was then but that's probably not the case there was a stick bug bigger than you and you decided to just reach out and touch it dang you're a brave little girl what if it is the case you were on a date our first yes nice thank you for sharing this you're thing. welcome sweetie i do appreciate the chance to relive it whenever i get one it was just such an impossibly sunshiny day. So warm. But Shivers keeps pointing out that it's cold. And she could get up and walk right into the reeds on her own. Into the mud. Anywhere. <laughs> the Territorn. Hi. Oh, wow. We could actually convince her to talk about stuff. But, but, first... Ha <laughs> Nothing like the gratitude of a good woman. Now then, what can I do for you? He tries to play it cool, remain professorial. But inside, this man is itching for some news on those traps. So I checked all of them. Good. Okay. And? And one of them was empty. Completely empty? Yeah, there was nothing in the trap. No locusts, no phasmid. No locusts? No phasmid either? That's not ideal, but... The empty trap was the one at your campsite. Maybe this factors into it somehow? I definitely left that one stocked. Hmm. Right from the campsite? Just means the Insul Indian phasmid is even more clever than we thought. <laughs> it went for it when everyone left. It was watching you. Of course, more clever. Yes! The Phantasmodea picked off the locusts and escaped. This is good news. Though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps. Make them more secure. 
You know, they said it looked like someone picked it up and put it back down. What if that thing actually is bigger than a five-year-old? Holy crap, that's that's an enormous bug. I do not like the idea of enormous bugs. Another trip to the reeds. What a death hunter this has been. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not persuaded. Why don't you try convincing Morel his hypothesis is invalid? His scowls. Thank you for the vote of no confidence, Gary. An officer. I appreciate your concern, but please leave this to the experts. Unless you have an alternative hypothesis you'd like to venture. Yeah. Actually, no. Excuse me for getting emotional. This is a big deal for us. You've helped us twice now. And brought some great news too. My gratitude and the gratitude of the Societe Cryptozoologique de Ravishol is yours. The Ravishol Society of Cryptozoology? Heartfelt gratitude. But does it feel like closure? What really happened? Some kind of foul play might be afoot. Theft? Thank you, it's an honor. He says, we should probably face. return to our main investigation here. This has been refreshing, but... Helping cryptozoologists isn't really a priority for our organization, is it? The lieutenant looks out the window, impatiently. For F's sake, Kuno's a hooligan. Well, if it, this fails, which it has a very, very small chance of doing so, we are just going to up our interfacing. Develop an alternative theory about the missing locus. Consider the way the empty trap was disturbed, as though shaken. Most likely the hands of a young person. Hands small enough to fit inside the trap, too. Kuno's been sitting in the same yard for days on end. You should ask the red-headed boy, Kuno. I think a little hooligan called Kuno may have stolen the locust. A little hooligan? But what would a child want with bags? I don't know. What would a child... Why would a child want to throw rocks at a corpse for several days in a row? Oh, my dear Morel. You've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. It's Kuno we're talking about. He loves to torment literally everyone. I'll talk to the little and see if anything comes up. Delinquents. My favorite. Kim, you shouldn't call that kid a delinquent. That is an insult to delinquents everywhere. Oh, you've been such a dear to us. Please, let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. In before we investigate a third death and this Kuno being eaten by a giant stick bug, that'd be hilarious. Well, I see you've got all the help you need. I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play suzerainty. But no more field trips for me. I wonder what kind of board game that is. After this is your last chance to talk to Gary. But about what? Really, Gary? We're getting somewhere here. I'd love to play suzerain tea, but... <laughs> Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere. It was some kids. I know the little mutants around here. Leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it. Even if it's bugs. He looks at his tea. Hey there, Reddits. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. How are you doing tonight, man? Morel, it's been fun. Really. But I need a bath, and I have deliveries to handle. When this tea is done, I gotta run. No, no. No need to apologize, Geary. You'd be more than helpful. We'll have to take a rain check on that game of Sue's rain tea today, though. We're gonna follow this through. I wonder if I've been taking this game real slow or how long this game could actually take. Does it would it take a solid week to solve this uh, murder? Uh, would Gary have been stuck out there in the reeds for a solid week? I I'm surprised that they didn't like find somewhere to splash themselves before coming here. Yeah. Long drives, paperwork, and being sick. <laughs> Those do not sound like fun. I've never been good with long drives. Heck, just driving home today, I was feeling sleepy. Like, that that's pretty common for me, but I had a good amount of sleep last night, too. He keeps the language unemotional, but it's in there. Disappointment. 
Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to a little turd and see if he's stolen some locusts. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. Of course that little... The little piece of crud would, uh... Mess up things just for the heck of it. I just assume he would be here. You know, all the time. 24-7. Oh, we should... We should check out the tie. Whoa. This is not at all what I expected. A ribbon tie, huh? Jeez. Inland Empire. Wow. It's even better. Octuple Vision and Volition. That's that's pretty cool. Can we see it? I, I, I think that's pretty cool looking. Let's put it on a proper shirt. Shirts. Okay, let's put on then the, the weird shirt again. And the coat over him. Alright, let's talk to Kuno, see what he's got. Man. Kuno saw you wield that can. Sweet graffito action pig. Kuno likes that delinquent shit. <laughs> yeah, you like art, Kuno? Fuck no, art shit. Takes a step back. Great to imagine here, but got it. Arts. <laughs> I still can't decide if I want to swear or not. That's right, pig. Shit. You wouldn't happen to know anything about some missing locusts? Ah, uh, civil warfare and physical instruments. Am I really gonna buy the pants off this kid? You gads. No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about bugs. So he knows locusts are bugs. Oh, man, that's a good thing to point out. Kuno doesn't know anything, but he apparently knows that they're bugs. Oh my god, I told you that shit is lame! Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison! <laughs> There is a she device. sounds like she's about to cry, out of disappointment at Kuno's newfound lameness. And what's this about? Deny everything, Kuno! You need to lawyer up! Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. No, the wrong There's thing. definitely something going on here. Remember his pig's head shack? You should check it out. Okay, I'm off. Kuno doesn't fucking care! Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is that thing lit up? Was that always lit up? Hmm. Just curious, Reddit. What kind of paperwork were you doing? And also, how long have you been sick? I, I think I heard that you were sick. I just can't remember when. Memory's never been the greatest, you know? It's crawling with locusts here. Of course it is. All around you, the hisses and chirps of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud, dotted with little holes for windows. Oh my god, he's actually raising a bug farm. Like skyscrapers, spires of dirt and sand rising. Accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case. Looks around, writes something in the turns to you. Of the locusts. For the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. Yes, precisely what I was thinking. Yes. I feel we are nearing a real breakthrough. Uh, uh, new birth certificate? What? What's wrong with your old birth certificate? And... You know, I'm just like thinking about like the last couple jobs I got hired at and I can't seem to remember the process. I'm like... I, did I even need my birth certificate? I don't think so, but... I mean, like... Uh, I guess my thought is like, why do they care how old you are as long as you're, you know, not a teenager? Or a toddler, for that matter. I think the insulinian phasmid is nearby. If anything, the presence of the locust points to the opposite. The phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. It was Kuno. The phasmid doesn't exist. But there's a lot of locusts here. But what do I know? Use your powers of deduction. You knew the magic bug was nowhere near here. The phasmid is impairing your judgment. We know that it wasn't near here. I just wanted to see what he would say. 
I'll let one. you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. No, I am not. I need your backup and your gun. This game is about a cop that is such a screwball, but despite being such a screwball, despite living in this crap sack world where everyone's trying to get in your way, he spent 20 years solving a whole bunch of cases and only ever killed three people. That's to be commended. I recently talked to a friend in real life and heard more stuff about cops not being great. and. You know, you hope that they're only a minority, but you hear so many stories, and I know you probably hear about the bad more than the good, but... Uh, it was somewhere pretty close by, too. I'm not gonna get into the story, though. Fuck, does Kuno care? I know you took the locust from the traps that Cryptus all just set up. He probably doesn't even know half these words. Yeah? Kuno took the books? So what? You say you don't give an F about bugs, and you go and build a whole bug town. It's not bug town. It's the city of locusts. Mm. Locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. I'm slowly imagining it raining poop, and it's a terrifying image. Stop! She wails from behind the fence, then buries her face in her hands. About to die from the shame of hanging out with someone who likes bugs. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't add too much narration. You stop! It's like they're fucking night! Local city! Night city! City of rage! Night city is, uh... Yeah, I guess I would call it a city of rage. There's a tug of war over the name of his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. Eh, I imagine his imagination's pretty small, yeah. The girl forces herself to watch again. The corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. What are you, some kind of artist now? Maybe I am. <gasps> he says, looking you straight in the eye. Did he just say I? Kuno usually calls Kuno, Kuno. Hold on, did I hear you right? You said I. Kuno made Kuno. Kuno says whatever the fuck he wants. There are no rules here, pig. He says close. I fucking say I when I wanna. And Kuno when I wanna. Kuno's free. Kuno's free to fucking die, bitch. Jeez, I, man, that's a <laughs> losing your your ID and your social security card. Dang. I mean, I'm probably not the best with stuff either. Um, try not to mess with a social security card too much. I feel like I'd probably lose it in a jiffy. But man, that's that's an unfortunate loss. Of all the things that could be <laughs> sitting in a desk when it was uh, given away, huh? Although the way you phrase that made me it makes me think you didn't okay the desk being given away. Concerning. This is what he sometimes does when things get tense. That's great, Kuno. It's good to make art. Oh my god, Kuno! He's gonna make you totally lame in like Three seconds! Don't let him, Kuno! Yeah, yeah, I, I bet not, Reddit. Sucks, man. Um, I never figured out, like, can you get a new social security card? I mean, surely yes, right? But, like... Supposedly, if someone has a social security card, they could, like, pretty much steal your identity, right? It's gotta be a huge pain to get a new one. Oh, man, that sucks. It wasn't just those two, and... And those two are pretty important. ID is a hassle, but yeah, you can get a new one. But... Or, well, you said original, and I just assumed then that we're talking about IDs because you said identification. But no, it was your original birth certificate. Oh my god, yeah, that's that sounds like an absolute nightmare. Oh, that's good. I've never liked the do dealing with paperwork and, like, DMV stuff and all that, like... I remember one time I had to go to the DMV for something, um, it was before I could legally drive, so it was probably something related to that. So you know what I suggested once I looked at our number, looked at the numbers being called, and did some math in my head? I suggested to my dad that we go and get some noodles, and we did, and we came back, and there was more waiting to do. Alright, let's see with the game a little bit more. Yo, fuck you, see? Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. 
Kudos his own man. Kudos free. He tears at the buttons of his shirt. Try and rip them open. They don't give way. I I guess you're trapped by your shirt. Is that a polo shirt? Oh, nothing wrong with polos. Just an expect a little. I I don't even know what to call them. All the words I gravitate towards are all pretty rude. Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself <laughs> into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a. F Kuno doesn't give a shit. That's that's cool. But don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. A leaden silence fills the yard. In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from the eaves. Someone closing a window. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to make Kuno real pissed off at me. I don't remember what exactly I said. No, I'm just going to say nothing. Without a word, she disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. I don't have no idea what those white splotches are supposed to be. Use this momentary confusion to take control of the situation. How do I take control of the situation with these? Oh, nah. He's gonna keep messing with them, I do this. He might be excited that they're using bait, but he's gonna be bored out of his mind when... Well, he kind of likes bugs, right? Uh, let's try it. I need you to stop taking locusts from the trap. The cryptozoologists are trying to find something very important. Those locusts are bait. I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. C was right. The girl's face appears again above the fence, just long enough to make eye contact with what's, Kuno. What's gonna happen to the locusts? Kuno's gonna let the fucking locusts die. <laughs> Sounds good to me. They're locusts of all things. Okay, now if that's it, oh, I better be the off. The fuck are they trying to catch anyway? With the traps? The Insulidian Phasmid. Huh. He mutters himself. He recognizes the name. Wait, you know what the Insulidian Phasmid is? <laughs> Kuno has got to disappear from the shame again. Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. As you leave, you notice his usual rooster-like swaying posture has changed. Slowed down. Like clockwork unwinding. Oh, shoot. I hope he doesn't steal it from them. There's silence between the two children. They're not saying anything to each other, nor looking in each other's direction. Well, I uh, hope I didn't jeopardize everything, but uh, let's go back and talk to uh, Morel. Oh, we didn't talk to Gary. Wonder if the crypto fascist had anything to say. We already got the armor off him anyway, right? Hello, officer. I uh, think I almost have it. A new trap design, that is. I know you're skeptical, but I have a good feeling about this. I had a chat with this kid, Kuno. Promise to stop seeing the locusts. So it was just a child. Purse's lips. Crestfallen. Thank you for telling us, sweetie. This is good news, right? It means we can try again. Without sabotage. She acts chipper, but something's changed in her tone. A hidden worry. Yeah, you're right. We just need to restock the empty trap. Then we'll need to inspect the traps one more time. And then maybe we can. <coughs> he has a 38 degree fever. His resilience has given way. Darling, I told you to take it easy. You're getting sick. Maybe it's time to go home. Come on, all you have to do is point out that she had a very, very sunny day when she saw the things. And, you know, try again when it's a little warmer. You're right, you're right. We can come back next season, when it's warmer. Man, I'm really feeling like this is, gonna, this is costing me time I made investigation, huh? Damn it, maybe I can still restock the trap for you. 
<laughs> Kim's gonna groan so hard. He's gonna face bomb. Heck, he's gonna backhand slap me if he was a little less professional. You can? Fine. It's better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this. <laughs> <laughs> After this, there'll probably be another subquest for the main, for this quest, which is a side quest from the main quest. He wants to see this tale through as much as you. Otherwise, he'd have stopped this already. But he cannot let it drag out. After this, really, it's too much, officer. He begins dying again. <laughs> what Morel means is, we're grateful for your help. She nods her. He's a fresh crack to blow. Ah! Can slide right down the funnel. Thank you again. We will definitely mention you, should this lead to a discovery. I'm not talking co-discovery, of course, but... Uh... Wow. Co-discovery? You'd be famous. You'd show them all. This does tingle the pleasure center. That's what electrochemistry is, isn't it? The pleasure center. All oh, the... What was that? Dopamine? This would show them all. We need to get you on that list of discoverers. No question about that. Okay, hold your horses, boys. Let's get going. We got a box of freaking locusts. A copper box with several rows of little holes in the lid. Though at first glance, the box seems perfectly ordinary upon closer examination. It's obvious that it's been prepared with great care. That's cool. Oh, I didn't actually read this all out, did I? A slender bolo tie held together by an antique clasp in the shape of a bird skull. The skull features eight cavities for eyes. It's disturbing, but you can't look away. You should look away. It's only going to win that staring contest. Okay, um... So we're going to teleport to the church. It's raining now, but not snowing. Almost 2100. And then, uh, we are going to... Well, I'm gonna save Scum, actually. Quick save. Okay. Now, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna check it to see what our chances are on the, the pale thing. Then we're gonna try and drink the pale liquor and see if that actually helps anything. Yes, what is it? Right, look, the uh, blah, blah. Plus one, plus one, minus ten. I don't know where to click on it, it's... Yeah, like... Oh wait, hang on, that's not the icon, that's just walk over there. Uh, wow, I can't even click on this, why? Did I already drink something earlier today? Yeah, like, why is it so difficult to click on this? Okay, fine, let's go. Physique and raise. That's nice. Yes, what is it? No, Peo is still unknown. We're not gonna do this seriously. Just because we can. Uh, let's see, logic is over here. Wow, we never put points in logic. It's yes. not gonna work. What There's no it? way it's gonna work. All you hear is silence in your head. Okay, fair enough. Let's load. I guess we could talk to her about the committee, but you know, let's not bother with that for now. Probably end up going back later when I investigate the pale or some some crap like that. Wait, can I? Hold on, does this connect to the... Okay, never mind. It, it, this is just a shorter way to get to where I was trying to go. Slightly shorter. Slightly shorter. Alright, let's climb. A rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Some of the rungs are missing. Oh boy. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Assess the situation. The distances between the remaining rungs are rather wide. You'd have to use the mounting brackets. However, they seem corroded and the peeling rust is razor sharp. We have armor gloves In on. In addition, the first rung is going to be tough to reach. It's what 
three meters above the ground, and you're 180. Uh, I'm assuming that's 180 centimeters because it was 180 meters, and we could easily reach it. 190. I'm a giant. Okay, but still, the roof is collapsing, and the wind gets pretty brutal up there. Dismounting from the ladder is going to be hard. Perhaps if you were to not climb the ladder. Instead, What if you were to do something more subtle? Uh, how do I climb into the little gaps? What if you were to reconceptualize climbing the ladder? What? Why am I going to? I'm like, okay, so where are we going with this? Reconceptualize climbing the ladder. But this choice, and those are quotation marks. We're saying this out loud. Kim is going to want to slap us again. What if I don't climb? What if I just teleport? Teleportation is not a thing. He stares at you, stud face. Come on, Kim, where's your adventurous spirit? This really has nothing to do with adventure. We are dealing with basic physics here. It will probably will hurt to try, but I'm going to say this anyway, because I don't have a choice. Oh yes, it could hurt. A lot. Kim he is realizing. restraining himself from using a parental tone with you right now. I, look, just because I saw Tia go climbing does not mean that he teleported. Oh, we're teleporting because there isn't a climbing animation, is there? Maybe there was a climbing animation. Anyway, we're gonna check to see if we could get some more sneakiness on. We could buy, probably buy those pants off Kuno. Not that, not that. Uh, let's see. What was... Um, it was yellow, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely not that one. Yellow. Definitely not the one either. Oh, sunglasses. Apparently sunglasses help. And that's probably my only thing. Reaction speed. Reaction speed minus. Okay. A rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Let's just teleport to the roof. All you need to do is close your eyes and concentrate. Darkness enfolds you. You can feel the distance between the bench and the first rung of the ladder. All you need to is... Do it. Zoot, zap, now, crinkle. It's like magic. You feel yourself disappear, your atoms fading out of existence. Excuse me? Okay, well, that's impressive, but... BAM! You find yourself on the roof, having mastered the art of physical displacement. <laughs> I didn't care, I teleported! I just saw you climb the ladder. <laughs> you just climbed it, like a regular person. No, not like a regular person. <laughs> Like a phase spider. You know, I've been thinking this, but Tiago did not seem like a crab man to me. He seemed more like a spider man. The wind at the top of the building starts howling loudly, blowing away the lieutenant's voice. Faintly, you hear. Never mind. Find a way to let me in when you get inside. Ah, don't go adventuring with a backup, especially if we think the suspect may be hiding here. I can probably hear every word of our conversation because we're shouting up and down the building. Well, I'm going to go and take my sunglasses off because I went with that visual calculus. Well, then maybe we should keep it on for sneaking around. Except there, there's not really much sneaking around. Okay, um, flashlight. I'm probably gonna need that. Let's uh, click on that, and then we'll climb down. Sensor support beam has been destroyed by artillery fire. Equip a flashlight in low light places. G thanks for the advice. This place is pretty concerning looking. Is this going further downstairs? That that sound, that music. Glass covered in grime and dust. You can barely see out. You can't just smash it open? <clears throat> hmm, I was looking for something I click on, but all I got is a postcard. 
Okay, let's go further. See container you can't open? Equip a pry bar. There's not a whole lot of containers in this game. Expecting and facing do more. Collapse near you the basement. One can very squeeze by. Antiquated office furniture. Last entry, maybe? Overturned table is covered in orange voodoo. Crawling with something. Oh, hey, Kim. Two rusty metal plates that slide apart form a crude door. It's been here under the boardwalk for a while. Uh, are we going to be low get? Realistically, I want to, wouldn't want to do this because if on the off chance they didn't hear us because they're so deep inside, I wouldn't want to shout now that I'm inside the building. Is, is he going to freak out when we push doors open without saying anything? The doors seem to be on rails, but they've gotten jammed. You grab a side and put some strength into prying it open. With the help of your partner, the two metal panels slide open with a creak. Huh. I hope no one dangerous heard that. Yeah. How did you even get there? After you climbed up to the roof, you mean? There's a maintenance entrance under the boardwalk. It's next to a drain pipe, possibly a storm drain. It was easy to miss before. But but I looked everywhere I could. He's quite proud of himself. Could have saved me that for it. At least now we have an exit, so let's get going. It's time to investigate these passages. I just said something boring cop, didn't I? <clears throat> Alright. Investigating. I don't think we checked that door out yet. Or is that the way I came? Old files in the cart. Document silvery with mold. Silver in mold. Okay, so that is the way I came. What have we here? In the beam of the flashlight, a crevice in the wall. Technically, I think yeah, I could just manually walk through this, but I've been using the mouse instead of the movement key, so that wouldn't work. Steel fabric smell dust. No one slept here in months, maybe years. Revolutionary propaganda on the bunk bed. Ancient flyers and brochures. The same slit window you saw from the outside. Could this have been the killer's hideout? And this narrow window, the point of origin of the shot that killed the mercenary? Probably that, this honestly. does look like an embrasure, a slit made for shooting out of. Yes, but generally you wouldn't be sniping someone on the second floor of a hotel from a slit in the ground. Peek out. The lights of Martinez shine coolly in the clear night. Could the killer have used this as a hideout? It's a great place to hide, certainly. But there hasn't been anyone here in ages. I can't even see the whirling rags. Shot didn't come from here. Indeed. No one could get a clear view. Well, at least we've been thorough. I like thorough. The lieutenant's voice betrays a slight disappointment, which he glosses over by reasserting control. <laughs> okay, um... Check the island. What island are they talking about? <laughs> ah. So apparently this is the boardwalk, this underground bunker. All right, or this base, this hidden area in the an old building. Ooh, something else here. Revolutionary's hat. I I think that's a a communist hat. There's gotta be something around here. Boot prints in the sand. One of the souls appears more worn than the other. And it looks like it's going that way. In which case, we're gonna go this way. <gasps> Close! Plus suggestion. Thick, dusty panes of glass. Alrighty. So we're gonna go this way. Wait, something there, an unnatural buzzing. Pair shenanigans? Tunnel collapse, you have to find another way around. Whoa, whoa, wait. I want to check out these places. Okay, maybe I should use the arrow keys. I can only walk though, how do I run? Well, I figured out enough. It's the only way I get 
You get ready to be shot, I guess. It's a tarp. Wow, am I seeing through Kim's glasses? That's kind of freaky. Getting louder at the buzzing sound. It's a machine gun already ready. There it is again, like a swarm of hornets buzzing under your scalp. A strange tingling you can almost smell. Lieutenant, do you feel something? Uh, you should, considering you're coupling theory super rapidly, like you're having a, like, semi-material seizure. No. What do you mean? A pain, a strange tingling. I don't feel it, but we should still be careful. There were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. So I'm two footprints with the right sole worn smooth. Looks like our suspect. If she isn't here, we need to plan our next step carefully. What do you mean? Once we detain a credible suspect, who knows what the Union and the Wild Pines will do. We'll set in motion events we have no control over. Yeah. Yeah. It will upset the balance of power in Martinez. The deadlock between the company and the Union will destabilize. This part of town is a fine clockwork puzzle. Disturb its peace and it will start breaking down uncontrollably. <sighs> Controlled breakdowns, huh? Keep calm. Go over the whole situation in detail. We've met the Union leader, but I haven't gotten more info from him. Maybe we should talk to him more first? We don't know about that door that he was asking about, but I don't like him. Even though it made it sound like our only chance to get the gun is through him. You're right. However corrupt he may be, nothing happens in Martinez without him knowing. We might have to dirty our hands, but... Nah, we don't need him. We can dirty our hands without him. In this case, we can't afford to be squeaky clean. Mm. I know Joyce knows something about the murder, but I may have other things to discuss with her. Uh, yes. There won't be time for that once things go down. Matter of fact, I don't think there's time for it now, but... If you must. Do you think whatever happens will affect our cryptozoologist? You mean Morel? I don't see how cryptozoology and the murder investigation are connected, but... The situation in the city will get tense for everyone. I don't forgot to restock the trap. If it gets that tense, the amateur zoologists might not be able to do their job. How do you think... how bad do you think it could get? Well, we are not responsible for what we can't predict, are we? Uh, yes, we are. I don't think the entire city will be raised to the ground. He smiles in the dark. If you can't predict it, there's nothing you could have done. What do you think is waiting for us there? I think I see a cavern. Maybe more cellars? I think we've been careful enough. We still have the element of surprise. So it was a good idea I didn't yell. I wouldn't be so sure. You haven't exactly been sneaking. Or maybe not. Either way, once we go deeper, there will be no turning back. We haven't been sneaking. How do we sneak? Like this? I'm gonna equip some extra saboteur. Just to make sure. But before that, we're going to see if we can talk to Joyce one last time and restock the trash for the cryptozoologist. Because we're actually about to make some progress. It feels like we've done so little in the main story, though, and I think we probably have done next to nothing in the main story. The trap stands empty near the reef. Release locus into the empty no trap. Insect sounds Doesn't it need to be repaired? The locus, dazed from being transported slowly begin to acclimate to their new surroundings. They're not really going to get the chance to get comfortable here. Good, now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Oh, sometime next century. Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Too late. He doesn't want to. But if there is one more cryptozoological runaround, he must force the investigation back on track. This better be it. Noted. Do we re report back or now report to Lena? And then she'll tell us that she made up the story and it got them all excited and that's how they met and it was actually a, a secret and she didn't expect anyone to go so hard looking for it and yada yada. Right? Right. Uh, where's Joyce? Come on! Why can't I move faster? Why can't I just like click that? Like I, I was trying to like move the camera so I could click over there, but no, we're just gonna go slow as heck. Slow as heck. Did not mean to click that. Did not mean to click that either. 
Okay, and we are back home now. Home, quotation marks. It's even emptier than I expected. Oh wait, Joyce is over there. There are lights on this building, but I can't seem to enter it. Alright, and then is there anything else I can do? Alright, report back to Lena. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Uh, let's see. Tell me more about of the course. Track. So something happened in the I'm elections. glad you asked. Disappeared? Yes. This four woman, her name? Some kind of extortion, probably. Indeed. The comp the point of the presentation is Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. Hmm. Why are there demands? There are leaflets again? everywhere. Every work Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. Forget about what I She nods. Uh, let's change the topic. Of course. Don't tell her you've met Evera right away, this time. But I already told her! What if I ask him... You know, something just occurred to me. I could probably accept the quest, and then I could probably talk to her after we've got some more details about the quest, and then backstab him. And maybe get my gun back that way. You know, we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna proceed. Right after I report back to Elena. Oh boy. I don't know why I keep pressing F and I mean not F. M and then like backing out right away. Obviously I need to look at the map to see if it is available. Ah, uh, Morel's gone. I think I might have been right. Hello, dear. It's good to see a familiar face. I already sucked the empty trap. Where's Morel? Thank you for doing that, dear. She manages a smile for you. Her smile is weary. Her earlier ebullience has left her. Morel still isn't feeling well. I convinced him to stay at Gary's to get some rest. I'm afraid the cold has really gotten to him. It's fair for the best. Awfully cold out there in the raids. I'm sorry, dear. You've had to drudge through them so many times. Such is field work. A young person's game, as they say. Her voice is shaky. What is going on here? So, who's gonna check the traps? Morel will eventually. Or we'll talk Gary into going back out, perhaps. The lieutenant stares at his shoe, caked in mud. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> Something tells me it's up to me again. No, you don't have to do that. Enough of this fool's errand. Morel will do it. Or Gary. You have work to do. I I've wasted enough of everyone's time. Be real. Gary is not going to help with this. We'll take care of it. One more into the breach. Kim's not going to be happy. Once more onto the breach, then. Take it on with undue optimism. That really is too much, sweetie. Thank you for your dedication, but I can see you're coming down with a cough yourself. Look, I don't know how you develop a coal, but but do you really get it from running around the cold? I'm pretty sure I've heard people specifically say that's not how you get a cold. Very strange. Why is she not letting me do this? It's like she's given up. What's wrong? You seem different. Like, you're not putting on the show anymore. Different? How? You're not telling me the whole story. I'm not. It's not bad. She doesn't know how to end the sentence. What is it? It's a... Uh, a strange feeling. I haven't really told this to anyone, but... You are a police officer. And apparently a human can't open her. And when a police officer asks, you must answer. 
Do you ever wonder if some lovely story from your childhood is just that? A story? Or a dream? Hunching her shoulders now, she seems even smaller than she is. Like a sad young girl. Seeing the Insulindian Phasmid was just a story I used to tell people. I didn't really think about whether it was real or not. But Morel told me you've seen it. You also told me. Morel's so proud of it. He always tells everyone. A terrible sting in the heart. Regret. You seem to really believe it happened. Doesn't that count for something? N no, sweetie. There's more to it than that. Morel was so eager to believe my story was evidence of the Phasmid's existence that I'm some queen of the cryptozoologists. That. And for years, his belief made me believe too. But now, we're both getting old, and he's still working himself sick out in those reeds looking for it. But what if I was just wrong? I think I was. The lieutenant opens his notebook, but doesn't write anything. Oh, I can't do this. Poor two. Poor two percent? Thing is, you're not sure you made it up either. I'm not sure of anything. Sometimes I still see it, you know. The real memory. Not the memory of the memory, but it's so hard to tell the two apart. And that's memory for you. I say that's someone with a terrible memory myself. Either way, I should go. Poor Morel is running a fever, and I need to get him home to Jamrock before we overstay our welcome with Gary. Sure you don't need help getting to Gary's? Not that Kim will let me help, but... Oh no, thank you, but I can get there on my own. This old thing is gas-powered. And then a taxi home. It's not so bad. Be careful out there, Lena. You too, sweetie. Thank you for everything, truly. Even though it turned out to be a... Uh, we had an option to check the traps one more time, but I didn't pick it. A waste of time. A fool's hope. Say her lips move in in silence. Like that, she drives off. The gas engine flutters quietly That's not as quiet. she gets to the doors, then pushes them open. Outside, the cold, coastal wind blows. We should go to... Somewhere out there, a kilometer to the southeast, a gust of wind shakes the felled building, rattling dusty windows, beckoning with strange coldness, to ask the wind once more. Hmm. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> it's a shame, I want to get my suggestion things on. Red check. Blah, red check without a chance to try again for it. Let's look at the an Ushanka with the Mozavian logo, a pair of deer antlers on its silvery white front. You, you, your ears feel cuddled and cared for by the state. Wow. Inter, how, how do I read this? Interisolary, interisolary, bleh. Nope, I can't say it. Sweet jacket. A muted brown suit jacket, perfect for a day at the office or an evening at a cafe. The red rose at the bottom left breast pocket is slowly wilting. You mean it's on You mean it's still fresh enough that it's only slowly wilting? I thought it was a fake rose. Or maybe it is a, a fake rose damaged by the sands of time, so to speak. I'm gonna be stubborn. I'm gonna look at that trap one more time. See if we even get the option. Also, what's this? I'll probably just point out that I got another skill point at some point, huh? We haven't been stealthy, they say. Well, let's get maximum stealth R and put the flashlight away so we'll probably end up failing to spot any traps. A few locusts trudge along the wall of the trap. The rest are piled in a heap in the court. Poor things. Darn.
that 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 the loading screen says something about most people being in bed after 2100, but hmm, I didn't see what the what it actually said. A faded picture postcard from the end of the last century shows Martinez as it was before the revolution. It's the height of summer, Rue de San Gisane. Gisane? Gisane? Ah, I can't remember how to pronounce that. It's teeming with parasol wielding bourgeois. I can't remember how to say this word either. Bourgeoisie and wild pines flags buttress the walkway. Nothing's written on the back. Man, tried to read a block of text and stopped twice to say I can't read this. Embarrassing. <clears throat> Something. This isn't just glass. These are old computation components. Computer components? Yes, filament memories. From the time when wires were cast in glass. Slides with an inlaid nervous system. How do they do that and why? The how was a closely guarded secret. Something that was locked in safes and human heads across the river where they were manufactured. As to why, your fingers don't know. <sighs> the why is easy, because they hadn't come up with modern silicon-based systems yet. For vitreous cast filament memories, though, these seem incredibly advanced. Hey, Kim, look, old cybernetics. So it is. I think these used to form a single system, slotted in the wall. This part of the be could this be part of the failed playback experiment? These? No. These are old filament memories. I hope you're not expecting to find the device here. You will be disappointed. So this all remains a failed then. The rest of the building seems to have been picked clean. Alright. <sighs> Lights off. Stealth. Uh stealth was yellow, right? And actually, I think there was only one thing that gave stealth. Sunglasses. In the dark. You should take out your flashlight. No! There's light shining through as if this was still daytime, even though it's clearly not. Okay, we're gonna walk as if that makes a difference. <sighs> Walking is still loud. Is that that's a person? We can't hear theirs, and maybe that that's how they smile. Suddenly, your entire body is paralyzed. Aggressive white noise fills your skull. A strange pain, like you've never felt before. Through the setting, you hear a woman's voice. Ah, must be the payoff work. It's like a thousand radio stations are being blasted into your head all at once. But her words are the only ones you can make out. I know you're feeling pretty uncomfortable right now. Don't move too much or fight it. That'll just make it worse. Says the shadowy figure by the machine. Can't say it's a pleasure, officer. I was really hoping not to make your acquaintance. But here we are. As she says the word, officer, you feel a spike in the agony. It sounds like the entire radio frequency range is screaming directly into your neural pathways. I don't think covering my ears will help. Don't cover them. That's an awful decision. Why would you not want to shield yourself from it? It's an entirely new type of experience. Way worse than all the previous ones. But why wouldn't I would? Because if you put out there like it's an option, like if they would accomplish something. You uh gonna kill me too? No, I'm not going to fucking kill you. If that had been my plan, you'd be dead already. All things considered, 
I'm being pretty reasonable here. I'm using a pale latitude compressor. You and your partner have been caught in its field. The explosion of static you're hearing. It's the ULAN frequency, blasted from that pale emitter that Angus mentioned. Pat Angus said you had a pale emitter, or no, let's not pull off Pat Angus' name in the air yet. Saw your equations, the ULAN frequency. Saw my equations? You've been sniffing through my lorry, right? I expected as much. I am a bit surprised you knew what you were looking at. Did I hear Chinese? Not that I would understand it, but... A pale latitude compressor is used to sort of make the pale more manageable. With a lot of these, you can force a radio signal grid on the pale, literally crunch the distance across it. Signals are relayed across a series of repeater stations fixed to buoys. Not a fun job manning those stations. All alone out there in the pale, people lose their minds in just a few years. So, what we are experiencing is a concentration of radio waves. Yeah. Precisely. This is an industrial strength paraboloid. It's meant for forcing dimensions on something that doesn't have them. Needless to say, the frequencies used are out of this world. At the upper limit is the large prime number generator station. It's used specifically for pale latitude compression. That's why you may be hearing some numbers. But you might also hear, or think you're hearing, local radio chatter. Pretty sure I heard some kind of Asian language. Also, she, the we've been blasted by the stuff repeatedly is causing us incredible pain. And she's just slowly, boredly giving us a lecture. Are we not dead yet? She likes telling you about the machine. Keep her talking. Look for an opportunity to break loose. Have you experienced the compressor yourself? Yeah, I stuck my head in there before using it on you. It seemed like the ethical thing to do. Can't say that I enjoyed it. The field was weaker, but I can imagine what you're going through. I was gonna say, hey, that's not fair, but I mean, it was this strong, she probably wouldn't be able to do anything. There's that spot right there that doesn't seem to be affected by it. I wonder if we can get to it. Is that the eye, the eye of the storm? How do you get your hands on this thing anyway? I built it myself. No, it's worth and it. she's proud of it too. As she ought to be. This is way beyond your abilities. That's illegal. I'm guessing it's patented. But we are beyond that, aren't we? Oh yeah. Way beyond. She studies her death ray and law officials trapped in it. What is this goddamn pale anyway? The pale? It's the end of the world. Fancy. This is all great, but let's talk about the man who was killed. Yeah, let's not talk about that shit. You were hunting me and fell into my trap instead. That's all there is to say about it. So she thinks of you as hunters, not the cops, and of herself merely as prey. We stay like this forever? No. Once I shut down the compressor, the pain will end. It may take a few minutes for you to steady yourself, though. It's a bit like waking out of a very confusing dream. Well, you know, she's being ridiculous, but I mean, this is still more reasonable than. Most people in this game. Please, can you just turn down so I can ask you something? If you've got something really important to say, you can do it through the white noise. We're looking for here. That was crazy. I'm just kind of curious on the pun mattress. That was a different language then. <laughs> Freaky. God damn it. She regards you and Kim with sudden sympathy. Fine. If you really want to talk, I can dial it down. I've also got a gun, by the way. She steps reluctantly out of the shadows. The pain less The gun she's carrying is a two-barreled front loader, not like the murder weapon. 
does it fit the bullets that we found under the, the shack? Because otherwise, we have more mysteries. Or maybe she has more guns. Well, it doesn't feel much better. But you can form sentences now. Thinking doesn't seem to hurt as much. There's only three meters between you and the machine. If you keep her distracted for long enough... We'll probably get shot. I, I didn't put on the bulletproof armor. Be careful when you make your move. That'll be it for questions. Bide your time. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Uh, we're probably gonna raise it a little bit, but come on, pain threshold. This, uh, we found the pale emitter, apparently. Also high Midoro. Uh, we got any felt electrical. I don't know why they didn't let us go into it at first. We climbed the ladder, Kim found our way underneath, so he didn't have to climb the ladder. We opened the door, we got in here. It seems like it's a turning point, or at least a point of no return. Um, we got blasted, I lost some meds because I decided not to cover my ears, because apparently that helps against an unnatural radio frequency. I don't have body armor, she's got a gun. I, I mean, I have the gloves, but I didn't put on the body armor, forgot about that. And I can't change my equipment, so pain threshold's not going to go up anymore. Although, I actually have to change something. Okay, threshold. Bones from thoughts. Uh, okay, so that's not affected by damage, looks like. Maybe we can put a point into it, though. No, when we go for it, I'll put a point in there. Oh, hey there. How do you read your name? Klingo? Klingjo? I have no idea how. Seems like I'm getting random people popping in here near the end of my stream for this game. <laughs> but we're gonna keep going a little bit longer. Let's see, how did you know we were coming? I heard you in the passages, and I've been preparing for quite a while. Oh yes, um, so I started with interfacing because I thought interfacing was the lockpicking stuff, you know, picks, locks, and pockets. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna break into everything. Turns out there wasn't a whole lot for me to break into. But it's been working well, and I've got a few pieces of gear for it. Yep, this is Ruby. So, while I'm going through this, you want to tell me how you found the channel? I'm assuming you're just like skipping around Disco Elysium streams. Also, how are you doing this evening? Yeah, she has a pair emitting machine, and I think it implied that she had like two shots. Let's see. Let me scroll up a little bit, see if I can see. Uh, okay, so it's not there. I, it might be too late already. Something front loaded. Yeah, two barrel front loader. Okay, so she's got two shots. Oh boy. Heard you in the passages. I've been preparing for quite a while. By hiding bullets under four floorboards? So you found my shack, huh? I'm not surprised. Lady, it's my shack now. I sleep there. I've shaven off my beard and now have a horrendous face with way too deep creases. Her tone is bitter. She thinks she's been betrayed. She didn't rat you out, by the way. Isabel, the washerwoman. So nice. That's one knife I didn't want to find in my back. Why hide the bullet, though? This could have turned out pretty bad for me if you hadn't walked right into 25 bands of ultra-high frequencies. Yes, but, like, what good is that bullet going to do back at the shack? That's her admitting the bullet was an emergency exit. That's still nothing. Did you shoot Laylee? No, I didn't do it. I only helped stage the lynching, though I doubt that makes much of a difference to you. Hey, I'm supposed to be the human can opener. I'm supposed to get the truth out of people. Who ratted me out, by the way? Was it Titus? No, he wouldn't have broken first. You're right. Clagia was the first to share her suspicions. Oh, I knew the kitten had claws, but not like this. But she couldn't have known I was on the coast. How did you find me? First guess was entirely off. Titus and his boys, man. They told us you were on the coast. Okay, look, I know I'm not good at voice acting, but Kim, you don't sound like you're in pain. Even now, Kim is a paragon of professionalism. He is trying to make a clean cut of telling her she was betrayed. Hmm. Well, fuck. Those guys liked me, I know it. But this is what happens to people whom people like. That's because you did all kinds of shady crap. How the fuck did the rest of you get by? Wait, wasn't it you who called me the human camera opener? It's not personnel. I opened them up. 
Oh, that's probably gonna upset her. I did, didn't I? Now you've come for me. Fuck them all the same. Uh, you kind of screwed them over first, didn't you? That did make her forgive them. A little. I do it by asking questions. And I have some for you. Like what? I already told you I didn't do it. A strong moral compass. She still wants the opportunity to make a case for herself. Would you say Laylee was a likable person? This might make her die of laughter. I didn't like him. Hardened mercenaries aren't particularly likable types. Did you feel protective of the Union? Yeah, sure. And I didn't like wild pines sending in those foreign hirelings. Me and a fuck ton of other people around here. Yeah, Lily was like the, the Merce code name. I forgot what his actual name is. We found it out from Malice when we ran the numbers on his boots. But Lily, I think, was like his nickname from where he came from, like Lilystad or something like that. She didn't hate it, okay? You don't feel sympathies for Mercs? It's hard work. I don't feel sympathies for Mercs. I talked to the Scablier last time. He was talking about, just in case anyone needs a refresher, about one of his old buddies, who was apparently scary enough to make Measurehead crap his pants, did stuff like cut off a woman's... cut off part of a woman and eat it, saying that the spirits were with him, after they abused her for a week after murdering her potential boyfriend. I don't feel a lot of sympathy for these guys. Yeah, I remember I had a convo with uh, with Kid about empathy and sympathy, and it kind of rattled what I thought I knew of it. Anyway, let's ask it anyway. Plenty of broken people who don't come with that kind of body count. Besides, they're paid well for what they do. Fair enough. Other questions? I'm listening. Do you have an alibi for when Lily was shot? Man, I was with the boys the whole night. I hope they at least bothered to impress that upon you. There were ten minutes they couldn't account for. You mean the length of a toilet break? That wouldn't even have been enough time. Our investigation has shown that 15 minutes was just enough time to commit the murder. Wow. Now I'm curious. Please, explain. Play pinball much? No. Not since I was 14 and hanging out in the only diner in Dardun. Haven't been I feel like we should be dying no from dragging out this conversation. Since moving to the city. Why? There's some... Mysterious? No. Never mind the pinball then, there's a secret way from the whirling bar to the roof. Don't know it, but also... <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I feel like this game or the devs have done an astonishing amount of research. Um, like, for example, my buddy Medoro here, he's a chemist, and apparently a lot of the chemistry jargon that they mention, that they throw out, like, especially regarding the drugs, seems spot on. And the fact that the the skill system is like this, something really impressive about it. I'm probably just gonna keep wasting points on like checks, like look how much I got my perception up. But I would like all of this to be lit up by the time I'm done. I love this. Evaluating your competence as a police officer. The shot couldn't have come from the roof, or we would have all heard it downstairs. She has a. Point there. No one mentioned. Ah, uh, there was one place that we couldn't investigate because I didn't know how. I looked for a long time before the Land's End one even came up. I didn't realize that the boardwalk one come from down here. And I don't know where the island is. I'm assuming it's this thing, but I can't get to it. You can't see my mouse cursor, right? I have it on. Can't get there. There's no Ferris wheel on that thing. I just saw a bunch of broken planks. Ran around here. So I have no idea. I still don't know what this thing is, this Gen Cube. Anyway. That didn't go super well. You've got to lay something better on her. You've been running drugs for the Union. Been through your lorry. So, Heart of Gold Tommy fucked me over too. Never trust a musician. Tommy didn't say squat until after we smashed the window. That really comes as a blow to her. No, he didn't. I found my own way in. Okay, great. You got into my lorry on your own. What now? You're going to arrest me for drug trafficking? I might try. You know how it is, right? You arrest someone for, like, counts of, like, you know, involuntary manslaughter, first-degree murder, arson, 
Grand Theft and Jaywalking. Right? Beneath it, she's relieved Tommy didn't betray her. You had a financial incentive to kill the Merc. Man, it's to get away from all that murderous shit that I left Jamrock, my previous employer, for the Union. <laughs> she deliberately avoided the name of the mob she worked for. You might be able to find this out later. I got lucky being a dispatcher. Never had to do any of the really dirty work myself. This gun has only been used for self-defense against serious scum. Do I tell her I don't have a gun? Will that make her let her guard down? <laughs> I'm gonna say and see what happens. It'll probably screw us over though. Not for a moment do I believe that you came here unarmed. She's not letting her guard down. Do you like to hang out on rooftops? Who doesn't? Oh, you probably mean Claudia's rooftop. Sure, I've hung out there. She's got this great antenna. Is that the only reason you hung out there? The view's pretty bomb, too. But you might say the antenna was the main attraction there, yeah. Along with Plaza. What's so great about her antenna? It's very powerful. I used it to tune into RCM frequencies. That's how I knew to be prepared for your arrival. Dang. Is that something we could have checked out? I didn't see anything that we could check out there. It was that white handkerchief that we failed to catch because it was a red check and I didn't know how to go for it. Are you sure you didn't shoot the merc from the roof? Yes, I'm sure. And anyway, as I said before, the shot had to have come from afar. No, uh, this is... Is this even going to lead anywhere? She has the wrong gun. You have a gun? The Hardy Boy said that she didn't. And? I see the front loader. Do you have another gun somewhere? Sure don't. The breach loader? No. This is such a wipeout. You collect guns, maybe old rifles? Or actually, no, let's ask where she got the it. The gun store. What Trigger gun store? Happy Jacks. Really? Trigger... What did you think? That I'm going to squeal on my gun supplier? Sorry, I'm not that kind of gal. Okay. No, rifles. they're not practical. Break too often. Wince, there's other evidence I want to ask you about. Actually, no, let's ask about her gun. What kind of gun is it? A Nachtway 80 front loader. Two barreled. Not really what you were looking for, I'm guessing. That isn't it. Yeah. Evidence. Okay, let's take a step back. Yeah? Where? More. More questions before doing anything. Yeah, plus one. Nudge it during drugs talk. We didn't investigate enough! Because I didn't know where to go. Who killed the Merc if it wasn't you? How should I know? As I keep saying, he already had a bullet in his head when I got to him, and there hasn't been any useful gossip over the radio. There was actually three mercs, and one we never took. Uh, none, none that we, I mean, one that we didn't account for, because they said that we couldn't get in, and I didn't even know where to lock. Those rings around her eyes. Her tired voice. She's been staying up late, listening in on the conversations crisscrossing Martinez. Well, she may should be, she's tired because she's running from the cops. What is radio? You've been following the case? Who hasn't? You know, I can still see him there, in Claus's room, lying on his side. He was still warm, but the bluish light coming through the broken window made him look as though he'd been dead for a good long while. What happened Sunday night? Tell me your version. She eyes you, warily, as though gauging your sincerity. It's okay. We just want to... Uh, uh... All right, don't kill yourself over it. I was shooting the shit with Hardy and the boys over a few beers, like always. Then Klasia comes in, all pale and shuddering. She sits down with a drink, trying to steady her nerves. So Wait. I grab a seat next to her. Did she also seem high to you? Oh yeah, super. But I didn't think too much of it at first. I'd seen her party hard before. Klasia said you knew something was wrong immediately. No, I really didn't. She's not that easy to read. I just assumed she'd done too much blow. It wouldn't be a first for her. But, no such luck. She was in some deep shit. She asked me to come upstairs. The merc she'd been we going are playing with this was lying game, on the bedroom and... floor, dead. I knew she couldn't get the authorities involved, so yeah. 
I was hoping that by turning off the lights and upping my stuff a little bit, I could sneak up on her. But she's got this like weird, like unnatural radio device. It seems like there's a supernatural factor to this game. And yeah, she's blasting us with it. And for some reason, we're trying to stall her because that's somehow gonna make it easier to get to the the pale emitter and shut it off while she has a gun on us. It might be a muzzle loader, but she's got a double barrel. So yeah, two cops. And I didn't put on the bulletproof armor from the from from the murder victim. I only have the gloves. I guess I'm gonna have to pull some Wonder Woman stuff. You made it look like you've been hanged. Kim, you're talking to Calm again. You're the professional voice actor here. How did you manage to come up with the plan so quickly? What? No. Faking a lynching was her idea. Oh. Clage lied! But of course, frigging drama was compromised. Where's drama? Right here. I keep looking at drama every time. Freaking compromise. A. Aaron. You know, speaking of which, I don't know how to pronounce most of the names in this game. They, it looks like it's all French. And plus, I'm not sure if Kitsuragi is a real name. I've seen Katsuragi, but that's kind of bothered me. I don't know enough about Japanese, though. Her idea? Yeah, in cold blood. It really surprised me how quickly she was able to get a hold of herself once we got up there. It was like she was another person. The party girl was gone. <laughs> what if she was the murderer? Smash the glass, shot him in the face. She asked me to help her drag him into the shower so she could wind the shower head around his neck to fake lividity. Then she dressed him while I went to get the hardy boy. That's bad that she'd be so calm. Yeah. I wasn't sure whether to admire her or be disturbed. You think she killed Laylee herself? You know, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, Speed Freaks FM. He said he's not a speed freak, but um, the only point that the game called someone a speed freak were the would-be druggies at the Nordic Dance Club, so... Shrug? Kim doesn't seem like he's into drugs, though. Maybe not that kind of speed. And I can't access my inventory, so... Actually, even if I did, I need to equip it, and then I have to click on it. And I don't know why, but it's hard for me to click on the icons. Like, sometimes I move my mouse around it and it doesn't pop up. Anyway, let's move on. As I keep telling you cops, we didn't hear anything downstairs. No gunshot, nothing. But even if this is true, weren't you worried this lynching might lead to... War? The thought crossed my mind. But the mercenary's death was going to have repercussions either way. Although the way things are going... She doesn't want to talk about this, but not because she has something to hide. She doesn't want the guilt. Eh, fuck it. I'm not responsible for these people after what they did to me. Yeah. He says that keeps him focused, but who knows, maybe keeps him awake on long drives. Just blasting as loud as he can. It's only imagining Kim just like driving down whatever passes our highway in this game. Speakers on the sides of his vehicle, just making everyone else to deal with it too. If you didn't kill him, why hide? I saw you roll into town. I wasn't about to stick around for questioning by a goddamn la puta madre agent. Wait, 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 wait. Is that one of the crime syndicates? We're not just a druggy cop, we're actually associated with a cri crime syndicate? So this is what she was scared to tell Titus. This cop, this cop. Well, this got me off guard. Even more than the pale bitter. What do you mean, la puta madre agent? Yes, you. Everyone says you're his peon, his... Human can opener. Through the sudden sharp pain in your head, you hear the lieutenant mumble something to himself. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. And I figured it was something bad. I just couldn't quite piece it together. Fucking hell! And why me? You hear through the white noise. It's especially bad suddenly. Felt like a vein exploded. We're about to run out of meds and I can't equip the armor to reduce the damage. Who's everyone? How do you know this? Everyone in Jamrock. The cops? The criminals? Why do you think I'm holed up in here with a goddamn death ray waiting for you? Uh, if that were true, you would have killed us now, wouldn't you? It's because I'm my partner here and he seems like a stand-up guy. She knows that about you. 
she must know your real name too. Tell me, what's my name? If you know that about me, you must know my name. Harry Dubois. One corrupt motherfucker with the disco pants and a funny tie. Agent to la puta madre. Huh. Everyone knows him as Harry, not Harrier. La puta madre. I've heard la puta madre. He's dangerous, right? Is that a joke or a threat? I'm guessing both. No, that was a real question. Yeah, sure. She doesn't believe you. I'm sure la puta madre himself will explain it all to you soon enough. What did you do to this madre anyway? You've been to my lorry. You think the biggest player in Jamrock appreciates competition? Now I have Harry can opener in my lair. Fucking Titus. Wow, you didn't explain that part to him. You were just like, that cop, that cop! Wait, one thing. Possibly small, but she said you rolled into town. Was that you, singular, or plural? When I she might know came into town, was there anyone with me? Yeah, you had your death squad with you. What happened to them anyway? Who was in this squad? Well, it wasn't this scrawny dude. You had two guys and a lady. The guys looked pretty buff. Lady wasn't bad either. Oh, what? Two guys and a lady. We know that there's a guy and a lady cop. Huh. But the guys look pretty buff. And the lady might have been too. What else can you tell me? One of the guys seemed chipper, a blonde. The other had a brooding something or other about him. And the woman... The woman was the only one in uniform. All were carrying. Okay, so I'm pretty sure those were the other two cops. But, um, I mean, he didn't have a stupid wig or glasses on. Chipper blonde dude. Wait, Chipper Blonde, dude. The only one I could think of right off the top of my head would be the guy admiring the mirror with the sun, but that doesn't seem right. That sound about right? No idea who these people are. Literally. Satellite Officer Vitmere looks out of the window grimly, then puts his coffee down and turns to Patrol Officer Miller. We could either take a room here in the work or go home for today. She called him, sir. Let's go home, John. Nothing's going to happen today, she responds quietly. Jean takes his blonde wig off. Call Heidelstam. He can give us a ride. I think I know them. They're Martinez. Break down. Lock. Set. <laughs> Freaking radio. Don't leave me here. Please delete. Fantastic. I've got to get on the road. Then you can go find your friends. Unless you have anything pressing to ask me? We didn't manage to succeed or anything. You know about the bunker next door? What bunker? Communist hide out there. Don't know anything about it. No one's been around since I set up camp. But I'm sure I'm not the first vagabond to... Your voice trails off into a white noise in your head. Feels like a nanorism approaching. Holy crap, we're out of meds. Keep calm. Breathe in. Military window of clarity. Okay, and we're gonna bump it up one more because. Wait, there's paint threshold, right? Please tell me it's paint threshold. Let's go! That was a fail check, wasn't it? That was a fail check, wasn't it? The violet white noise becomes even more overwhelming closer to the compressor. It feels like your brain is swelling up in your skull. It's a 10. My total is a 10. Why did we fail? Why did we fail? Hold still and try to have an apocalyptic vision. <laughs> sure, whatever. You feel something in your chest. An unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm. Your jaw. So I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. I have no more meds. Try to say, Countess. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face. Like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. 
Cop Sapper's final heart attack, a detective lieutenant of the RCA Sigh. passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest drinker I'd ever met, Captain Ptolemy Price, the deceased superior officer, commented. That ain't easy on the ticker. He loved his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. But I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the officer was on the brink of solving a murder case. Okay, let's, uh... Sigh. Let's get some meds, and then we'll try again. Holy crap, how far back is this? Yes, I just died. Uh, this is later, right? But like a minute later? One. Okay. Let's do this real quickly. We're gonna do this. I'm not gonna end the episode right there. Not like that. Also, this isn't race safe scumming if I died, right? But I kinda know what to prepare for now. So let's get our pain threshold up. And let's see. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. The trap stands. The locust. They're not yes. good. Yes. 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 Come on, Kim. We gotta go tell someone about the bugs. Then I'll probably come back one more time because why the heck not? So, uh. Sure, but. <laughs> it's a different kind of game. Uh, death is treated a little differently. Hey, uh, Klingo, Klingo, uh, if you're still there, first of all, how do you say your name? And second of all, do you, um, do you happen to want to tell me where the last gunshot location is? Oh, wait, what the? Do I need to redo this? Oh, wait, yeah, that was inside the building. Uh, do you know where I'm supposed to check the island for? I'm assuming you're still there because you just said a statement a little bit ago that I missed. Cling gel. Alright, I'm hoping I'm saying it close enough. If it's said with a French accent, I will never, ever get your name right. Ever. Hello, dear. It's good to see you. Thank you for Her smile is what Morel still isn't feeling well. I can the cargo to plays up, huh? Yes. Her voice is sh Morel will check the traps. Looting upstairs at his shoe. Kate what? in mud. He does that it. real very strange. Why is she wrong? Different. You're not telling me the whole How? story. You're giving up on the Fazman. Um, yes. In doubts. It's no, uh, well, what? And when a police officer. Do you. Punch in her shoes. Seeing it, Morel. A terrible sting in the heart. Regret. So no, that I'm. But now. Oh, I forgot there was a red check here and I totally forgot about this. But doesn't write anything. Yeah, let's try it. Nope. But it has, hasn't it? A seed can only bear what's inside. The seed of love is black and oily. Oi. The seed of love has a lot of possibilities. Just because it's black and oily doesn't mean that it won't sprout into something amazing. It has a taste you're quite familiar. You might be right to that. I was a paraplegic before we met. Hmm. He didn't know before I came in. She has to swallow to relax her throat. He still has to be That's sleeping. not how these things Maybe. work. But... Then what, what you have to know is the insula are oh, there. Some of the other things are pretty bad. I believe it. A true believer. Either way. Okay, I picked some of the different dialogue choices, which is why I'm sorry reading it. I'll what, check the transcript. Really? Oh, sweetie. Please don't get stuck on a dream. Can't get your dress just in case it's news. Okay. A sigh. She doesn't think you'll need it. Get out there later. Too sweet. A waste of time. A like that, she drives off. Okay, do we have to have a quest? as quietly as she gets to the doors, then pushes them open. Outside, it's raining. We should go to somewhere out there, a kilometer to. Let's 
see. Uh, no, I don't. I don't see it. Yes, yeah, so asking about names is is pretty cool stuff. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I asked anyone here about their names. And I vaguely know where my name came from, but I'm not completely sure myself. You know, I'm just like looking at the the chat right now, and I'm like, uh. Like gull, like seagull, Klingle? Am I saying a little closer now? Anyway, let's just fast travel here. We're probably not gonna check that again. We're probably just gonna climb. We're gonna save before we get shot. Come on, the game made it something. I forgot to buy meds. I did not buy meds. Enough. A colorful dis Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both Wait, no, not that. Uh, not, the not that machine. machine stands in the corner. Uh, here, 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 here. You see several packaged raincoats. Fill a low shelf what the beneath the a display of croissants and juice bottles. Yeah. The raincoats are transparent. Yeah. Except no. for the big. Where are the. Do I just talk to her? No, it's over here. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. Nasal. Med okay, here. I hope St. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, no one's gonna tell me how to, uh. Not exactly cheat, but, you know, um. More effectively. Man, if I'd remembered to put on the armor, it would have given me a pain threshold as well. If someone then, unless someone has something to, more to tell me about things I should do or things I can do before I go in there, I'm just gonna up my pain threshold and get in there. This would get volition and inland empire, huh? Neat. Okay. That, that's it, right? I didn't miss anything up here. I could snore some drugs as well. You know, Stormcrow, you're one of the few people I know with like four online names. Like, I'm sure that everyone's got multiple online names, but like, for example, in the past, I used the name Three Eyed Crow. I don't use that name at all anymore. I'm not sure what these drugs are exactly, but for some reason it seems like your physical abilities increase when you... Oh, it's down here, that's right. Oh, uh, but before that we have to go try that. Um, and what do we need here? I don't remember. I don't remember. A rusty ladder. Yeah, that doesn't look good. The distance is in addition. The first... Not Funny to sword, mention right? that the... What if you were to what if you were to reconceptualize climbing right. the ladder? Teleportation is not a thing. Teleportation is a thing. You just need a bit of concentration. Okay, let's say teleportation is a thing. Wouldn't you need some kind of scientific apparatus to create a teleportation field? You can't just do it without apparatus. Oh yes, it could hurt a lot. He is restraining himself from using a parental tone with you right now. Savoir fair. And before that, I'm gonna see if I could wait, what the frick? I never knows that. Yeah, old you guys do that. Peeks out from beneath the rotten boards of the boardwalk. A building like this must have multiple doors. So your eyes slowly begin. The lieutenant looks over your shoulder. Huh, what's in there? At first, you can't make anything out okay. in the darkness as your eyes adjust. You see some trash, crumpled up newspapers, cigarette butts. Someone has half-heartedly spray-painted skulls on the right side, and, and nothing. Broken right. glass from bottles thrown against the... Given that this isn't a martial arts thriller, it's highly unlikely 
and not without risk to our health. Oh yeah, like the ladder isn't any risk. However, rest. the pipe suggests there may be... He means the pipe. And it's right here, a maintenance door. Oh. It's jammed shut. The subtle approach isn't going to work on this one. Yeah, let's not do this. Physical instrument, blah. Surely the crowbar wouldn't help here, right? I mean, it should, but it probably won't. Now, let's equip both these just in case. The pry bar and the plus two multi tool. Uh, let's see. Let's put this shirt on for physical instrument and we'll, uh, we'll. Blah. Oh. Hey, this gives paint threshold as well. I didn't notice that. Uh, we're probably gonna put this on for conceptualization later. F it, let's try it. Behind the pipe, the maintenance door. Nope, not Rusted. working. You and the lieutenant lean all your weight into pushing the doors apart, but you're not quite synchronizing your efforts. They yeah, 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 okay. Let's take a breather and try this again later. It's... Nope, I'm just gonna teleport. Let's see, get rid of this, get rid of this. Conceptualization, there's something about the tie, right? Nope, that's in the Empire. Uh, let's see. I don't remember what I need here. The shirt, and I know there was, there was something else, but we're not gonna bother. Oh. Cool, okay, okay. The rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. All you need to do. Oh, this is our fair. That was the wrong stat. Okay, zoot, that's fine. Zap. Okay, well. Bam! You find yourself on the roof. Don't blow to stand there. You know, like for the record, you did. The wind at the top. You just climbed the ladder with your eyes closed. That's even more out. impressive. Blow. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're we'll going inside now. Stones fall, it's a long way down, yeah, 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 Okay, I'm gonna pull out a flashlight. Well, actually, are we gonna pull out a flashlight? There's... It says something like, you haven't been exactly stealthy. Is there a way to be stealthy? Okay, you know what? We're going to, uh, man, all this stuff again. Let's see, let's put this on, and then... Put this on, because apparently you wear this over that kind of armor. Uh, there was something else. We have the scarf. And there was something for stealth. Ah, uh, yes. The sunglasses at night. And let's not forget the flashlight so I can click on a few checks. We are not going to take a solid hour to get back there. In-game or out -game. Well, okay, maybe in-game. Time passes pretty fast in-game. I don't think I've had any three-hour episodes with this game yet. I do upload every episode of this playthrough onto YouTube. I'm wondering, maybe I shouldn't do that so much. Maybe, maybe I should keep that. Maybe I should. I don't know. One of those rusty metal YouTube channels that no one knows about, and I'm a couple Kundo. episodes long. Let's just it's push open. Ah, this probably it's makes much, a lot of noise, uh, but whatever. I, yes, time to investigate these passages. Let's move quietly and not make more sound. Not running. It's a great way to do that. <laughs> Appreciate the follow. It was always nice to see. I realized that because I play a variety of games though, not a lot of people come back. A little sad, but I mean, kind of expected, right? A lot of people give the follows, you know, just for a little bit of support. So they, they don't always have time to come back either. Me, myself, I feel like I've been watching way too many different streamers since I started streaming. It's mostly Reddit's fault. He knows all these people, and it's like, you should go raid this person, you should go raid this person. I kind of stopped doing it because, well, generally I have like one viewer and it just makes me feel kind of sad. <laughs> but there's a lot of great people out there, a lot of people I can learn from. Let's see. Okay, let's just search everything real quickly and then we'll do, uh, not drugs exactly, we're gonna drink. By the way, Klingo, if you're in the mood to tell me any spoilers, do you know what the Pale Age uh, vodka does? I bought it for 30 real, and I have no idea what to do with it. 
a mustachioed and mutton chopped man, amateurishly depicted, gazes at you with sad eyes. The plaque reads K. Mazov. There is a spider web in some radical or radicals were hiding before. here. What's wrong with the secret, and secret weapon cache in the suit? And secret bunkers. Maybe we should move in here. We have found a lot of those lately. We only found one I of those. I guess what most people think of as history tends to linger in rundown neighborhoods. Martinez being what it is, no one has gone through the trouble of cleaning out the old bunkers. Jack, why would you call the Raditz Satan? Aren't you the, 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 the one bullying him? Good hiding place for someone who's up to no good. Maybe we should move in here. No, this is such a pain. Millions of concerned. depictions of Mazov have been produced. They're, all connected. They're not all connected. Besides, that looked like some student. Half a century? Half a century. I think the purpose of this bunker, Mission I point. won't stand in your way. But only a... You mean like Ruby? No. I think we've stumbled on a piece of... Years worth of dust is shaken. Yes, this is... Okay, let's go. How did I miss that before? And why is there a circle here? Could this have been the killer's... This does look... Oh, right, right. This is rain. important. It's a great place to hide, indeed. The lieutenant. In fact, I think we There's another circle. Yeah, it did look like it had the same bonuses as BR. Oh, I glitched it now. There's a current. I have a permanent halo spinning around my head now. Yeah, I've totally forgot about Idiot Doom Spiral, but I. I guess if he wasn't impressed, then it's nothing, alright? That natural buzzing. Oh, well, we know what that natural buzzing is now. The pale million emitter with the Ulan frequencies. Blasting 25 stations like once. Non-existent stations, by the way. I'm going to move my flashlight, even though I don't think it will actually help with anything. And we got the stuff sunglasses on. Uh, let's see, what am I forgetting? Drugs. Right? Let's see, motor X, so that'll... Hmm, what? That'll give a, me more Savar fare, but I don't know if that'll actually be any useful here. I don't know if I actually can sneak up on her. Almost out of Commodore Red. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Okay, well, let's uh, have some alcohol. And I wonder, should I try it? I got five uses of the stuff. <sighs> Gonna be burning through a lot of meds, too. Okay, well, you know what? Let's... Getting louder, the buzzing sound. Let's take some of that. <coughs> oh, boy. And morale. <laughs> morale has been damaged. Psyche has been raised, though, so morale has temporarily gone up, along with some of the other gear we're wearing. See, I, I can't figure out how to click on this. It's not... I don't see... Oh, wait. Hang on. There it is. Below it for some reason. Okay. Put this away. Now that we, uh, taken some drugs, taken some alcohol... Here it is again. Like a swamp. No. What do you mean? Dance. I don't feel it. So, but you really don't feel no. anything. But you are the sensitive one. I saw them, too. What? Prince with the right Looks like or. our suspect. Once we detain a credible, you will ups this part of town. Keep calm. Go over the whole situation in detail. How do you bad do you think? Things well, get? if you can't, I didn't get my gun back from Everard. I might never get it. Could have I don't like the guy though. I think I see a cavern. Maybe you wouldn't be so sure. You haven't exactly been sneaking. How do I sneak? Or maybe not. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> I, you know, Minero, that was actually beyond what I expected from this game. Jeez. Actual chemists here. By the way, is it bad that I keep announcing to, not everyone, but to various people that you have an actual PhD? <laughs> it, it feels like something to brag so, about, but it's also real life details. Paralyzed. Aggressive white noise, Bill. It's like a okay, okay, okay. feeling pretty. I can't say it's a pleasure. Off. As she says the word, how long these drugs in the last? You feel a spike in their agony. Okay. It sounds Cover like ears. nobody. That's not going to help. You can't shoot. That's what I thought. It's an entire. But you mocked me for it last time. Of experience. 
way worse than all the previous ones. Kelp came out, my brain's on fire. <clears throat> I'm using a pale... The explosion blasted from that pale emitter that Angus mentioned. Saw your equation, uh, but I guess you had a That boy's really got to learn to keep his trap shut. Keep my eyes on A pale latitude compressor signals are related. So, what precisely? Yep. At the upper. Yep. She likes telling you about the What's this pale? It's the end of the world. How do you get hand the thing? Yep. And she's proud. That's illegal. Oh yeah. Yep. Wave. No. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I stuck my head in there before. Let's you. talk about yeah, the let's not So she thinks of you as. Ask if him. you've got something. God damn it! Fine. If you really want to talk, I can dial it down. I've also got a gun, by the way. The gun she's carrying is a two-barreled front. Yeah. Well, yeah, baby, baby. there's only three. Be careful when you make your move. That'll be it for questions. I need her to shut up so I can uh, respond Mind to stuff in time. chat. I heard you in the passages, and I've been preparing for quite a while. Who are you that loud in the passages? So you found... Her tone is oh, better. Wait. She thinks she's been betrayed. You got Basket a triple raid. Oh, that's right. Basket was um, painting models yesterday, weren't they? I I think I saw that, but I don't remember why I didn't join in. Maybe I got called up for Hunt again. And I went to sleep early, even though I didn't feel any more rested, which was kind of sad. Uh, as for what you missed, um, I think it was uh, Klingo and Midoro talking about like the little graphic at the bottom that appears when I drank alcohol and used drugs. Because there was like chemical structures and, you know, Midoro actually has a PhD in chemistry. So apparently that stuff is accurate. Okay, let's see. She didn't wreck you up, by the so way. So nice. Grand for shootout. I no was way. before I. That's her admitting the bullet was an emergency. Did you shoot Lily. No, I. Who ratted me out, by the way? Was it Titus? It was your girlfriend nah, she cracked? She didn't crack, but she couldn't have known I was on the coast. First How did guess you find me? weren't was entirely off. Titus and his boat. Even now. Well, but how the fuck... Uh, does she mean that you're not a person from other people? I did, didn't I? That did make her forgive them. A little. Like what? The strong moral compass. See, she still wants I to didn't see. like him. Hard in mer Plenty of broken people. Yeah, sure. She didn't hate... I'm listening. Man, I was with the boys the whole minutes. night. Yeah, and I'm sure they also made some... <sighs> Can't do either without some power of mind over bladder. And anyway, wow. Now I'm curious. Please. Sink waves were first far whirling to the Don't know it, but Evaluating. The shot couldn't have come. She has a. That didn't go super well. You've got to lay something better on her. You're running for the drugs. So. That really comes nope, as a. Nope, I found my own okay. way. In. Beneath it, she's relieved. Tommy yeah, financially. Man, center. it's. She deliberately. I got lucky being a. There. It's going to be easier to reach the machine. Yeah, there's anything else with that. Based on what I've heard about you, you are serious scum. But you haven't killed us yet, which is bizarre. There's a sinister note in her voice. Who doesn't? Oh, you probably mean it's very powerful. Okay. Yes, I'm sure. And Let's take yeah? a step back. More. More questions before doing anything. Let's see. She Tell died. me your tale. It's okay. Yeah. All right. She sits down with a drink, trying she to steady her nerves. No, I. Wrong she asked. You made it look like it didn't hang. Pretty weird. You came out with a spot on the what? Playing around no. spot. She looks shaken. She wasn't surprised to be ratted out, but framed. Huh. Yeah, in cold blood. You can see it. Her lips. Oops. She asked me to help her drag him into the Shared shower. Resourceful. So she, yeah. I wasn't sure whether, as I keep telling. The. Even if the war, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm okay. not responsible for these people after what you they did kill. to me. Why hide? I saw. So this is what. Yes. Through the sudden sh fucking hell, it's especially bad suddenly. Who's everyone? For Everyone in jail. If she knows that about you, she must know your real name. Dangerous, too. right? Is that a joke or a threat? I'm guessing both. I'm sorry, I was supposed to know all this, but I lost my memory recently. Oh, wait, she's not gonna believe me. Yeah, sure. She doesn't. I'm sure La Buddha Mal, you you've been to my lorry. She's not. Wait, one thing. Possibly small, but she said you. Yeah, you had your death squad with you. Who's well, it squad? wasn't this scrawny. One you tell of me? the guys seen that sound about right? No idea. Satellite officer, let's go home, John. 
Nothing's going to happen today. She responds yep. quietly. They're right outside. Jean takes his No, they're not right outside. Yeah. Fantastic. We could throw I've got to get on the road. With that. Then you can go find you your know, flight bunker. No, but the bunker next door. Just bunker. You don't been know there. anything about it. No one's been around since I set up camp. Okay, I just wasted time. Great. Breathe in. Okay, it's not going to get any better than this. I <laughs> pump so many points into pain threshold. I guess it's not gonna light up now. Let's do it. Another fail. How? The violet white noise becomes even more overwhelming. Closer to Medium the ten. My Feels total like twelve. Is Still inside. failure. I think this check is rigged. It's either bugged or it's rigged. Because last time I hit it exactly, and I'm pretty sure this game works the same way as uh, as difficulty class and AC does, and in Pathfinder and the other D20 systems, you have to hit the threshold. Now we've clearly surpassed that. It's rigged or bugged. Okay, let's see. Oh, so I'm trying to have a fucking condition. That's what I did before. Officer, are you okay? I'm just trying to have a fucking condition. The pain intensifies as your hands attempt to reach out into the pale chaos. What are you doing? I told you it's best not to move. Huh? Do I have one more than I did before? Oh, it's because I put on something, didn't I? I didn't have three health before. Just try not to make it. Just try not to class. I know this isn't very fun for you, so let's wrap this. She knows about the tribunal. Do you know something about the tribunals the mercenaries are planning? Tribunal is an awfully fancy word for what they're going to do. Isn't that the word you but use? Yeah, I was listening to their frequency. They finished their investigation. Now they're going to put on a show before meeting out punishment. Even though those assholes gave me up, because you're suspicious, I'm worried for the boys and you. Watch out for yourselves. You seem to have a habit of walking into traps. I plan to set up a trap for us. I'm guessing you don't know that a third mercenary has come to town just in time for the tribunal. Now you do. If one point wow, I read of those meds. In a minute, then oh, that's because my buff wore off. To kill 120 honeybees. God dang it. Or more, since they'll also be covering one another. Uh... The third. Oh, this is bad. As I said, watch out. The pain is becoming unbearable now. Okay. How should I know? Those rings around for his radio? Who hasn't? He was still warm. But the bluish light coming Damn. through the broken window Why? made him look as glad to have been of assistance. Best of luck to you, officers. Revishal's a bitch. Say, Quingo, do you know it was possible to succeed that check? Because I definitely passed it just now. The woman runs past you and disappears into the darkness of the tunnel. Yeah, maybe I picked the wrong choice right afterwards. Having apocalyptic vision. All things considered, it could have gone worse. Shouldn't, shouldn't we go after her? No, I don't think she did it. She's someone else's case now. It's too late now, anyway. She's gone. What now? Now we have to come up with a really good excuse for why we walked right into a trap like that. This isn't going to look good in the report. Her tent. Maybe there's something in there. Well, she had some bleeding edge tech here because she couldn't have taken us both on with a gun. Well, I mean, she might have, but we would have had a shot. We were completely disabled there, though, so that sucks. All right, all right. That all failed. We almost died, even though we did drugs. It's like I'm implying the drugs would have saved us or should have saved us or something like that. Two guys, two barrels, yes. But she would have to fire and aim at both of us, unlike that thing where as soon as you walk into range, she's just like instant disable. And apparently that fortitude save was a lie. Oh, thank goodness. Cooking utensils. 
prepared herself porridge and bananas. Doesn't sound like the most appealing thing in the world, but I'd totally try it. Money! To buy more drugs, no doubt. The plain red tent stands by. It was pitched by practiced hands. She's used to camping out. The tent looks old, but well maintained. In the darkness of the tent, a rolled up sleeping bag, cooking utensils, some books, and a kerosene lamp. It reeks of cigarettes. Shine light on the Assorted books. soft covers. Oh, I gotta go this quickly. Uh, <laughs> episode's running a little long. Rager Monthly. Journal of Material Science. Technological Digest. More the technological digest. Cover. It's a leather notebook. We should read this immediately. Like, right now. By flashlight light? I mean, sure, if you want. And actually, no, Kim. We're gonna wait until Sunday. Because I'm gonna save right now. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you had some fun. Hopefully I didn't take too long redoing that whole section. We should have went a little better, but that might have been scripted. Well, stay safe, and maybe I'll see you around. Till then, goodbye.